super long arms. You're taller than I thought you'd be. Uh, a lot of people say that about me. Really? Yeah. Because um, they see me sitting down a lot. Yeah, well, that's kind of. And then when all I stand I up, they're like, what the heck just happened? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, this is good. There you go. Take a picture. Going to, uh, is it doing the five minute thing or is it? No, just straight in. It's straight in. Now. So we're like live. You're live. I'm yeah. live. I'm Hello. Over here live and you're over there live. Just pretend it's your screen and you're looking at your samples and this is your SEM. Yeah, it's, just pretend like it's mine for It'll be fine. an afternoon. Streaming in the afternoon and pretend we're in San Francisco. Just be like, hi, I'm Pacific Plankton and we're live from San Francisco. This is my science fortress. It got an upgrade. <laughs> it got a major upgrade. A significant upgrade if it's my science fort. So this is Pacific Plankton and I'm live from I'm the scanning electron microscope lab. I don't think they can see me over here. They can't see you? I think I'm so far out of the frame that they can't see me. I can rotate the camera. It's okay. <laughs> I'm working with stinky mud over here. He doesn't have to do the stinky mud over there. You well, can bring it closer. Show people. I will, but it's best if I start with the stinky mud over here. Mm. And it's okay. We don't have any viewers yet. So. It's okay. They can see your odontella. Slowly crawling across the screen. Yes. And I'll, maybe I'll move to the other side of this place. Uh, Shadow Fax is here. Shadow Fax. Hi. 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 We're doing science today. Are we? We are. What do I normally do? Science. Oh, okay. That this one's your, mine. This has your straw it in it. It has my straw. That's how I can tell it's not Dr. Pepper. Mine doesn't even have a straw. That's how I'm rolling today. See, because I'm traveling and I sometimes might want to drink with my mask on, I can just use the straw. I'm not complaining. I feel like it was like a... I don't even have a straw. Yeah. Sometimes I get a straw and then people are like, oh my God, you got a you straw. You got a straw? I know. You're an environmental professor. You got a straw. Why are you using a straw? I mean, sometimes I just want the soda to go right into my face faster, you know? See, I think it's faster if you just drink it. Sometimes. <laughs> a lot more of it ends up in my beard if I just drink it, though. I've not had that problem. Well just the mask. Uh, do you want to tell them what you've been up to today? Oh my goodness. What have I been up to today? Well, I started, okay, hold on. I'm going to type something and then I'll tell you. I can't type and talk. <laughs> Too many things. All right. We've had a busy day. Very busy day. I actually taught classes on top of it. Yep. So, I'm going to throw that out there. Pretend you did everything you did, but also had to talk in front of people for an hour and 15 minutes about shutting up. About really cool stuff. Well. No? It's the Steve Mandel. Steve? He says, hi, you two. Hey, Steve. Hi, Steve. I've just decided that I'm going to stream like this from now on. I'm going to have everybody else over there. And I'm just going to be in the back like uh, the grumpy old guys from the Muppets yelling down. <laughs> hey, you kids, get in and focus. Uh-huh. And you think that'll make a really great stream? People like that sort of thing. They do? Yeah, that's what I hear. Okay. Uh, this is How are you doing, Steve? Look at me, I'm running an SEM, like. Steve says howdy. There's no professor sitting directly next to me. He's behind me, but. I'm not even looking at what she's doing. He's, he's here. I'm here putting samples in bags. Well, this morning while he was teaching, 
I like kind of broke the SEM. I was using it while it broke. How about that? Is that better? I guess so. I was using it just like this and all of a sudden the screen went black. <laughs> I was like, ah, what did I touch? It was pretty frightening. I need a pipette. I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay. And also need to get caps. Pipettes and caps. What? Pipettes and caps. Oh, I thought maybe you said you had no, some caps. No, but there. there's Ziploc bags over there. I don't need those. Oh, okay. You're in control. I'm in control. Oh no, I'm in control, but I can't see chat. So hey, everyone. It's nice to see you, Steve. Let's see, there we go. We're looking at right now, so this is a plankton sample that I took before I left San Francisco. And um, I sampled it and I put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in it and brought it with me um, on my trip here to Indiana to visit Dr. Stone. And um, there are dinoflagellates in the sample. Um, this is an unprocessed um, portion of the sample that uh, we mounted on an SEM stub. And let me find a dinoflagellate for you because this is just so amazing to see these. Um, usually they, uh, oh, like right here, look at that. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, it's so cool. Okay, we're going to zoom in on this. This is a dinoflagellate. So the difference between a diatom and a dinoflagellate, the dinoflagellate has two flagella. So um, let me get in a little closer. Look at that beautiful dinoflagellate there. Oh. Um, get a little bit. Actually, we're going to go and let's see. I'm going to auto brightness a little bit. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to zoom in some more and focus. Let's see. Right here. Let's see if I can get it a little bit, a little bit sharper. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom back out just a little and center it. And I'll get a picture set up and then I'll tell you more about it while I'm um, taking the picture. Because it takes about three minutes to take the picture. Let's see here. And it's still a little too zoomed in. There, that looks good. Right? That looks pretty good. I'm wondering if I could get it more into focus. Uh, maybe. Mm, different parts are in focus. All right, I kind of want, want this bit to be in focus, though, here. Look at this dinoflagellate. We haven't seen this one yet. You found another one? I did. Um, let's see. In the chat, they said, it's Lujan. Lujan Lu says, hello. Hello. Nice to see you both again. Hello, Lujan. Hello, Lujan. Uh, Sam Chung is here, and they said, good day, Professor Pack. <laughs> no. And is here, and she says, hello. And the headshot specialist says, morning, Pacific Plankton. And Sam Chung said, pack attack. So, woohoo! Pack attack. Oops. Pack attack. All right, I'm just trying to like. What sort of lies did you tell them about it? I didn't tell them any lies. Oh. I told them, hold on, we've got lots of dinoflagellates because I brought the sample from San Francisco and I used hydrogen peroxide in it mm -hmm. just a little bit, and now we've got dinoflagellates. Those are all true. Yeah, those aren't lies yet. You didn't tell them what you've been up to. Well, I was just showing off the really cool dinoflagellates. Okay. Because dinoflagellates. Now do I need to, let's see. You told them that you broke my SEM or you did? I did, I did. I told them I, I was, well, I was using it while it broke. And then did you tell them that we fixed it? No, I didn't. Oh, hey, I have a question. For me? Yeah. Or for chat? For you. When I focus it, see how it like moves left and right when I focus it? I don't remember it doing that as much before. When you move, what? So, here, see this, how this line connects here? Yeah. And I am using the focus knob. Yeah. Right? So watch. When I focus, it moves that way. Oh, and yeah. And then that way. It's because we probably need to stigmate it a little bit. Ooh. Because we put on the new filament. Got it. I just hadn't seen it do that as yeah, much. Probably we need to do that. We need to do the wiggle, the wobble, I mean. <laughs> and... Um, we didn't do any of the wobble 
We didn't do any of the stigmation. So your images aren't going to look quite as nice. Oh, man. Do you think we should do it? Well, when I finish with this. OK. All right. So I'm going to take a, um, I'm going to take a picture here. And then I'm I can. i over here making samples for you. It's amazing. It's so cool. All right, auto brightness. So this uh, black icarish liquid it's so cool. In the baggie is from a core that specific plankton collected. My very first ever. And it worked. A sediment core. From a canoe in a lake. From a canoe. <laughs> from a canoe. Yeah. And we didn't tip the canoe. Oh, she said that I gifted her the SEM? Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> Just the use of it for um, oh, the another. Use of it. Oh, for okay. another. No, I. Another day, almost. Not Steve, quite. Steve Mandel was saying that I claimed, was claiming that I said you could have it. Oh no. No. I mean, if you can fit it on the plane. If I can fit it on the plane, don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take a picture. There we go. <laughs> Just having fun watching it draw really slowly, but I forgot to snap the picture. Okay. So this is not the first time that happened. It's not. That's the second time that's happened. Because watching it draw is most of the fun. Later, I can enjoy looking back at the images, but at the moment, it's the watching it kind of unfurl in front of me. So I'm turning her samples into little sample vials that we can then stick in some nitric acid and get the diatoms out of them. One sample at a time. It's very cool. So yes, so, um, so this morning, the filament burnt out on the SEM completely freaked me out. I did what I was supposed to and I went and I found him and he said, put it in standby. And then, um, then he worked on it and was able to, he did all of the filament changing. And then it works now. Yeah, we just had to change the filament. It was fine. It's, it was reaching about 300 hours. Yeah. So Steve Mandel says, how do you get the sample onto the SEM mount? Oh. I think they mean your samples from. My samples from San Francisco. Yeah. So the, I can show you when I get home, Steve, but I can show everybody now. I can, oh, I can try rolling. I know this isn't the same, but I can explain it with this. This is actually a mosquito that I caught last night on a stub. She didn't catch it on the stove. She I didn't catch it. On the it. I like ran around really carefully <laughs> trying, trying to catch a mosquito until I found one. It's like really sneaky. No. Um, so this is a this is an SEM stub, and um, there are what are the the ones called that fit on top of it? It's just another stub. Like you have a stub on a stub. Oh, the, the little, little aluminum. Like things. a barrel. Barrel, yeah. Yeah. So there are these little Those aluminum are barrels. Pins. These are pins. And those are stubs. And those are stubs. Okay. See now, see I've got to get the lingo right. Otherwise I'm gonna say something wrong. So this is a, this it's is a same. pin. It's all the same. And then I don't have one that has a I can I don't know whose they are, I don't want to mess with them. Um so you put a, a couple of drops of diluted sample onto the surface of a little barrel that fits on here. And then it sits on a hot plate or a warm warming plate. A warming, warming plate. Warming, it's called a slides warmer. A slides warmer. Because it's made in China. Aww. And they didn't get the language quite, quite right. And then it, it sits there and it um, slowly dries. And when it's dry, then it can get coated in gold. And I have a little video of that that I tried to post on um, your Discord of it in the, doing the, the disco and getting the gold coating. Put it on my Discord? I was trying to, but I couldn't actually do it. Um, I didn't have the bandwidth to oh. upload. We could have given you an account, you know. It's okay. I go home tomorrow. All right. I mean, I know that. I'm just saying it could have happened. I could have. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Dino. Um, there we go. Dinoflagellate for now. Okay. So, 
Uh, Where are we? Dangling says, what? look at what Twitch does. Let's online friends come together and makes my allergies act up. Makes your allergies act up? Aw. Uh, Anakin Luke is here and he says, hi, yo. Hi. And he wants to know if you've met Mallory plus other people because he's fixated on Mallory for some reason. Oh, yeah. I've met people. I've met, I think I've met almost everybody. The hooligans. Uh, you haven't met Addie. I haven't met Addie? We haven't seen her. I haven't met Addie. But uh, Laura, yes. Sukanya, yes. Eleanor, yes. Yes. Mary. Mary. Yes. And... Oh, you haven't seen Rihanna, because Rihanna hasn't been around. Yeah. Um, and you met Daphne. There you go. So. I feel like, I feel like part of the community now. It's, uh, you don't know the other one's names, yeah. Me neither. <laughs> I just call them Mallory and then those other people. Uh -huh. In the lab. Those other lab folks. Mallory is talky? I'll tell her you said that. Dear. All right. Um, oh, so Steve, this one's for you. We have um, Procentrum here. Look at this. I'm going to zoom in on this Procentrum. Is it the outside or the inside? Let's see. Oh, it's a good one. No, oh, you can't really see. It's a little collapsed. I'll find you a better one. Actually, we could go to the other stuff because I haven't seen that one yet. Just have at it. I know. It's just so. I don't know. I have news for you, which is we need to order pizza by seven. Uh oh. And be home by roughly seven. Okay. So. Pizza's my treat tonight for the Stone family. So it's three thirty. I'm just telling you, you only got like three hours left. Oh no, that's like no time at all in some world. Yeah, an SEM time. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't even breathe. All right. Look at this. This one's for you, Steve. Procentrum. See this dinoflagellate? Look at those tiny little holes there. Go a little closer. Dangling wants to know, are you buying an SEM for home? No. But and I... uh, Steve says, wow, but he used all caps and an exclamation mark. <laughs> and an exclamation mark? Yeah. Wow. Like that. Like that. Wow. All right. And Headshot says, order pizza while the SEM is drawing, which is probably <laughs> what will happen. <laughs> yes. I suspect that we can multitask just like we're multitasking right now. Oh, actually, this is interesting. I don't think I saw this edge of this dinoflagellate where those halves joined before. So maybe I will take this picture and zoom out just a tiny bit because that's kind of cool. Normally on your stream, mm -hmm. these things are crawling around. They are. They're actually, so this particular dinoflagellate is, is tumbling like a falling leaf. Oh, it's that one. Yeah. And I can see the edge of it, which... Um, I don't think I saw in the picture I took yesterday. I think it was yesterday. All the days are blurring together. It's so much fun here. Uh, so much fun. It's a real shame they haven't invented the Stinko Vision so that I could have you guys smell the core over here and get the full experience of how fun it is. It's so much fun. Even the like, stinky parts are fun. It smells like um, Easter eggs or something. I don't know. Like, like the you? Easter eggs that you haven't found yet. What is salt? What smells like sulfur besides Easter eggs? Like after you hard boil an egg, it smells kind of sulfury, right? Uh, oh, I know. Brimstone, yeah. like what shows up when the devil does. Oh, like like going to like hell. That. Like going to hell. We've yeah. gone to hell. A little bit like going to hell. It's the dark side coming out. Yeah. The dark, side's, the dark side has come out in these cores. I don't know if you've seen this mud, but it looks like somebody just like dumped it's, it's like, so cool. pure demon blood in a vial. It's lovely. Uh, it's so cool. The darkness is there. Uh, Marmot. Marmot! Says, howdy, howdy. Great to see you both. 
It's super fun to be here. Okay, uh, auto brightness is working and then I'm gonna take another picture. Uh, Headshot says you colored these pictures yourself. Yes, I colored the pictures myself. Those are, that's my artwork. Yes. If you can call it that. Can call it that. Cause that's what it is. All right. It's, uh, take a picture. It's what I do, which is just blindly roping around in software until it looks kind of cool. Yeah, and if you're on his Discord, you might actually catch him doing it on Discord. Yeah. It's entirely possible. That's true. Sometimes I actually do it through Discord. Yeah. It's, don't tell anybody because it's a secret. No, you just have to be on Discord and notice that he's there. Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes I hang out in your Discord. I'm there all the time. Really? Well. Maybe not all the time. Usually I'm work. Yeah. But when I'm done working, I'm there. So this is neat. This little flange here going around. I'm going to zoom in and get a picture of that because I've not seen that before. Headshot says, I'm on Discord since a couple of days. Sweet. All right, then. Welcome to Discord. Yeah. Stop by. And it's a pretty quiet Discord, but I post pictures. So if you like the, the pictures that show up in the little corner in the bottom there, mm -hmm. um, when I colorize them, I usually just upload them to Discord. So you can get them from the Instagram site, but I feel like it's lower quality than what I'm posting to Discord, which is still lower quality than the actual image, but it's still pretty good. Pretty good. Quality-wise. Quantity-wise, I don't know. You do more than I do. Uh, and yes, dangling is usually in the voice chat, losing some game and talking about people's moms. She does a lot of mom talking. Not my mom. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, she hasn't talked to my mom very much. There was a stream where my mom was on. It was sweet. And I think dangling was there for that. So she might have talked to my mom a little bit then. But normally when she plays games with somebody, she talks about their mom. Most of the time, I don't think she's met their mom, so... I mean, I don't think she even knows who they are, let alone who their moms are. Hmm. So, hey, Steve, if you have a, a dinoflagellate book handy, are these trichocyst pores? Cause Steve says, similar structure on this to diatoms with pores, valves, etc. Or so it appears, but dinos are not silica, right? Right. Well, valves, not valves so much. Uh, dinoflagellates have plates. They have thecas. Um. I always think it's funny when you say fecal plates. <laughs> Do you? You like yeah. that? Because it's so close to saying something else. It is. It is. She said fecal plates. Yes, with a TH. Uh, Luke says, I'll invent a new cheap SEM thing and become a millionaire. You uh, could. Luke, there's a problem, which is if it's cheap, how are you going to become a millionaire? So many people will use it. I mean... Yeah, that's where I want to go. There's a money problem here, which is it's going to oh. be you know, kind of expensive to make one, and then if you sell it for cheap, you're not gonna, you have to sell a lot of it. Yeah, think about it. We're gonna go close. <laughs> Headshot wants to know, how do you say people with a pH? I don't know, how? No? I no? guess just like you do. Cool. Doesn't they, don't they look like scales there? Oh, they said, did you say fecal with a TH? With a TH? TH. Of course. All right, I'm going to rotate it to the right. Okay, don't wreck the instrument. All right. We can always trade places and I can subsample and you can, 
Remnants. I can look through your samples and tell them about dinos because I don't think that's going to happen. No, you do it. I'm going to be like, here's a dino. This one's got fecal plates. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rotate. Let's see. Uh, let's do 15. And I'm in the rotation window, so that's okay. I just want you to double check. You're doing great. All right. Which way did I go? All right, so I want to go, I want to go like... Also, you've already washed your hands, and I feel like... I have. But, you know, I have it. to say, I have washed my hands, but I don't think I got under my nails good enough, because... It smells I'm not, like sulfur? I'm not, I'm not over there subsampling, and I still get the occasional, like, whiff. That's weird. It is weird, isn't it? It's almost like the lake doesn't want to let go of you. <laughs> All right, so I did 15 and it went straight up and down. And what I wanted to do is I wanted it to go that way. It's almost like if you get demon blood all over your hands, you can't get it off. Oh, I know. I think there's a... It's a movie about that? Well, there's a Shakespearean play about it, I think. Ah, I feel damn. Like this was like a... Out, out, damn. Yeah, exactly. Sample. <laughs> it doesn't have the we'll, same ring. We'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. All right. So this is the math part, right? I'm at uh, 15 degrees and it's straight up and down and I want to go this way. So that means it has to be positive. No, negative degrees. It's clockwise. It's clockwise. Negative. negative degrees. So I want to go negative degrees 90. Negative 90 degrees. Yes. Nothing is impossible. Not and I'm still imagine. in the rotation field. Okay. So I'm okay. I know, but I keep checking because like it's... Whatever crazy number you like. And it's spinning field. again. Damn. I know. When you tell it to rotate. I know. I say rotate and it goes, woo. But yeah. Okay. Uh, what did I do? Followed us. Somebody followed. They followed you. They didn't follow us. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I apologize to Laura Flores Ciencia because... <gasps> You think you're getting a channel with Pacific Plankton as the host, but it's actually me. And I'm if back anyone, back it. you are doing a really good job too. That's what I do. You do a really good job. You know, professors, this is our life. We just sit in the back, do something, and we point at stuff. Yeah. All of my power is concentrated in my finger. <laughs> shit. There's a book. No, it's not right. Okay. Speed. Uh, Luke wants to know about the stuff that we sampled today. All right. So there's a little lake here in Terre Haute. There's many. Yes. But there's one in particular that we went to. Um, it used to be a coal pit. Is that what? Yeah? It yeah. used to be a coal pit. They dug it out. They dug it out. Coal. Took the coal, left a pit, and then it filled with water. And um, now it's a lake. So I had never done a core sample before, never taken a core sample. I've always done the plankton part, right? Pacific plankton, not Pacific core. It's true. And uh, look at that. That's so neat. Okay. And um, you can change your name, you know, on Twitch. On Twitch, I know, but then Once what? A year or See, but then I have to do cores, and I don't have any of the equipment. You said that was rather expensive, that equipment. Uh, only four thousand dollars. Yeah. See. You can get a couple of those. I can get a couple of those. I could, however. Um, you can use your Twitch money. I can use my Twitch money. I need a whole lot more Twitch money. We <laughs> uh, can put our Twitch monies together. We could, we could, but I just don't feel like that would be fair. Uh, it still wouldn't get us to four thousand dollars. <laughs> wouldn't even close. You get more than I do. Do I? I think you do. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't feel like that's true, but I match mine and donate it. So I'm pretty sure you get more than. You. Well, I mean, my money just goes into student research. Yeah, and mine just goes into the nonprofit for. Plankton Ed, so. But I've already used a bunch of it, so. Well, that's cool. All right, we're going to go speed, speed seven. And actually, you know what? I should have it on an angle and not straight across. Oh, look at this. 
What? Uh, Laura wants to know, what are we looking at? We're looking at, oh, so this is the edge of a dinoflagellate. And I've never seen the, this edge that close. I'm just going to take the picture. Oh, Steve, Steve pulled him. And it, oh. it looks like maybe Luke is from, well, look, we know that Luke is from Brazil. And mm. I think that Laura has a Spanish-sounding name, so he's speaking Spanish, I heard. He's, he's or maybe speaking Puerto Rican. I don't know. I don't know. He's speaking to her Some sort of Spanish in foreign language. languages. Yeah. Lovely. Some sort of Latin-based language. Uh, we could add French to the stream, and I could start speaking French into the microphone. I can't tell the difference between Portuguese and Spanish, Luke. I'm sorry. Really? You speak Portuguese, but also you oh. can speak Spanish. They're very. You know, they're not that different from each other. <laughs> Neither is Spanish and Italian, right? French. Or Italian and French. Just different enough to make it difficult to not switch between them. Right. But I think a lot of people who speak Portuguese speak Spanish too, or they can kind of like get enough of the words. Really? I think so. Okay. I have friends from Brazil. I had a sandwich PhD student. I should have rotated it. You should have? I should have. Because the top half is all dark. So this is the really slow part. So yes, so we went to this little lake. Here I can tell a story while it's not, it's taking a picture. See, Laura says we understand each other. Ah, uh, nice. Told you. What's good? So, uh, go ahead. There's chat. Sorry. Please. Luke wants to know what classes I'm currently teaching. I'm teaching a class called Large Lake Systems. It's about large lakes, mm. the big ones, the biggest ones on Earth, and a class called Sedimentary Sediment Stratigraphy and Sedimentation which is about uh, geological processes that create sedimentary rocks and the environments that they're deposited in, and a class called Diatom Taxonomy, which Pacific Plankton sometimes sits in on. It's very cool. That's it, you can go. I can go now? Yeah. Okay. So there's this little lake, and um, uh, we took a coring device, and it's, oh, I forgot the name of it again. HTH surface core. An HTH surface core, see? Only have to say it three more times and I'll remember it. The HTH surface core, which is a, a weighted, um, weighted device with a flange, and what you do is you, you lift up the flange and hold the cord, and it's connected to a tube, and the whole mechanism is lowered over the side, well, over the side of a canoe. And then um, when it hits the mud, it sinks into the mud. And when the pressure is released from the cord, because it's sunk as far as it can go, it releases the flange and it closes the top of the tube. Kind of like when you're, um, if you've like taken water in a straw and you put your thumb over it and you can pick up the straw and the water doesn't all fall out. So, except when I pulled it up, it was all full of mud and the core sample, which is really cool. But in a canoe, it's a little tippy and we did not tip over. It was very good. Teamwork. It was, it was. What's going to work? It was awesome. Um, and then you put, there's a, like a plug or a plunger that you put on the bottom so that it doesn't all leak out. And, um, and we were, uh, I was carrying it back to the car and uh, the plug fell out the bottom. <laughs> left. It shouldn't do. It shouldn't do. But I left plops. Of, um, of core along um, the path, but only a couple plops of core and um, per centrum. It's because there was a small hole in the core tube, not because of anything she did. I thought it was because of something I did. Didn't know about the hole in the tube. Well, neither did I. Anyway, it was fine because we didn't lose all of it, only some of it, and then we sampled from the little bits that dropped out. Um, let's see. And then we spent right. about. 45 minutes subsampling the core. Yeah. Um, and that, it's really cool because it like pushes it out like a push up pop with this mechanism that gives you one centimeter, um, well, half centimeter or one centimeter increments pushed up through the tube and out so you can slice it off into one of those handy dandy bags that, um, that Stone has over there. And then he's now subsampling them into little vials. What are those? Cint 
scintillation vials? They're scintillating. They are. They're sparkly. They're beautiful. Okay. Picture taken. I can move on. Stop yammering. Um, speed. Four. Beam intensity. Ten. I'm going to talk myself through this to make sure I'm doing it right. And then zoom out. And we can go to another stub. <gasps> Uh, Steve said I have to leave now, but it was oh, no. fun to see you both. Um, and then say hi to Lily. About who speaks Spanish and who speaks Portuguese and, uh, and with whom. And then uh, Dangling says, you got the free Dr. Stone lecture. She got a bunch of free lectures from me. Oh my goodness. But I am and treating you to dinner. Luke says that uh, he'd love to see the pictures. So we actually took pictures when we poured. Uh, of with the, you know, like the fish that got away, we got those pictures. We got pictures from it's pretty funny. Uh, the subsampling when we did the subsampling. So I'll just post all of those in the Discord, and um, or in Pacific's Discord, which I don't have a link for you for, but I can take this one. And um, you can always find me through. Anna's here, and she says, "Hey, Anna." Morning, but like, not morning. Oh, Anna, we have a, um, I have a diatom question for you. I mean, I think I figured it out, but I still have a diatom question. I'm going to zoom back to that other one, that, that cruciform, this one. Square diatom? It's the, the kind of cross-shaped diatom. Marine sample from San Francisco Bay. There we are. I'm gonna. And then I'm doing this highly that. scientific subsampling of the core back here. It's really cool. So, Anna. And in our material from giant samples that are way too big into something that will fit into a simulation so that we can put it in nitric. Well, I guess I'll be putting it in nitric acid here in a minute. There's just too much to do. Not enough time. There's plenty of time. There's not enough time. So what do you think it is, Anna? I am curious. Well, you can actually see, Chad, if you push that little Where? OBS button at the oh, bottom right there. I can bring it up. And then I just, I have to remember I can't navigate there. Right. Oh. Turns out you can't use the SCM with that screen up. No, you can't. You can't. I said I figured it out. I said I thought. I said I thought I might have figured it out. So there's a triceration that that has a squarish, starish shape, and a oh, what was the other one? I wrote it down. Trigonium. Tri. Tri. What? Trigonium. I think. Trigonium. You remember diatom names so amazingly well. I have to keep looking back at my notes. Anyway, those are the two options that I thought it fit into that category. So I was just curious. It's the only one. I know. I'm looking. We're going to look at the other stub right now. So. What did she say? She said, you said you figured it out? Question mark. Oh. It's cute, but from the inside. And is it the only one? I'm going back here. It's the only one we've seen so far. True. So um, I've only seen the inside view of it. I it know. Has junk in the inside. It has junk so. on the inside. You get the outline. You do. You do. Good I mean, luck. Just saying. Here we go. Step number two. So if I want to rotate it back to north. Zero. Zero under rotation. Yeah. Got it. And I'm in the rotation field before I hit enter. Yes. I'm going to talk myself through this. Oh, and it spins. Okay. All right, here we are on stub number two, also San Francisco Bay. Also unprocessed. Also unprocessed. Haven't gotten to the process stuff yet. All right, I'm just going to poke around. I'm not going to spend as long, unless there's really cool dinoflagellates, and then no promises, because this is the first time we've really seen, oh, see here? We've really seen the dinoflagellates on, on the SEM. I mean, maybe one. Oh, look at that. I think, I think it might be protoperidinium. What? I know. It's a... You know what we can do with that? I think, I think it we might can be. We just go up or down. We just turn the rotation on the stage. Look at that. I think it totally is. That is definitely. 
All right. That is it. So pants, I'm in the pants sideways. It's pants sideways, but we're going to fix Good that. Good news, you everyone. Pants down? I was thinking. <laughs> pants down sounds like fun. Or maybe I just screwed it up and now it's going to be pants up because it's the negative and the positive. No, I got it right. You got it's, it pants down. I got I'm excited by that. You know, it's a dinoflagellate. I think it can handle it. Here. It's a party hat and a pair of pants. Live on the scanning electron microscope. <laughs> okay. Where is Mama Bon Bon? I do not know where Mama Bon Bon is. All right. I wonder if I can. Anna says uh, healthy marine water should not have a lot of dinoflagellates. Yes. Well, um, when I sampled this, there are, was our kind of dino blooms going on along the coast. It, it kind of started in the south and was moving north. And they're not, well, it wasn't a heavy bloom. It was heavy enough to bring this many with me to Indiana, so. What, uh, what do you find in a healthy environment in the marine realm, Anna? If not dinoflagellates. If not, then what? That's what I'm asking. That's what I thought you were going to say. That's how I feel about it, too. All right. So, beam intensity, we're going to go beam intensity 7. Oh, we didn't have a 10 to 11. What? We have a 9 to 10, right? This is the bottom. Yeah. I did get it right. I thought it was off by one. No. I don't think so. I thought we had a 10 to 11 out there. I guess I wasn't looking at the numbers. All right. Speed 7. You had it perfect. A, well, of course. I, I wouldn't expect anything less. Hmm. First try, perfect guess. It's kind of cool. I am a professional. Yep. All right. I just want to see... Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. Professional, it smells terrible. <laughs> I never said it was gonna smell good. That wasn't part of the I think there's some on the table edge. <laughs> oh yeah. It gets everywhere. It's leaving a little bit for almond. <laughs> for mallard. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> well, there we go. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. hmm? I was just going to use T A N G, Tang. Except that doesn't work. That would be that bad. Is the only lab in the world where I can't use Tang <laughs> as the code because Tanganyika is worth the is all over and all of my Tanganyika yeah. are labeled tank. Yeah, don't confuse these with that. I don't think I would. You don't think so? I can guarantee you I can tell you the diatoms in here aren't the same as the ones I would find in Africa. Yeah. I, I don't know what's in here yet, but it's not those. It's not those? I know what it is. Yeah? You want to show people the, the, the cool subsampling that you did? I'm not quite done with it. Oh. I still have these. There's uh, those three. The ones that came off the ground. Yes. Uh, I think I went crazy. Hmm. So yeah, protoperidinium. This is another dinoflagellate, and we're seeing it from the backside with its pants down. Oh I know. So. Um, we're gonna have to take off the family friendly side. This is the this is the part that always reminds me of a party hat. It's pointed at the top. This is the cingulum. It's like a belt groove going around the middle. And there's a flagella that would wrap around inside of that groove. Hey, shadow facts. 
And then um, this here, to me, always looks like a pair of pants. And so what we can't see is on the other side, right here, there's a sulcus or a groove, and that's where a flagella comes out. I am so excited we found one of these. I'm just surprised we found any. And we found so many. You always send me samples and that's like, oh, I'm gonna do some where we don't process it so I can find a bunch of dinoflagellates. And I never find any dinoflagellates. I just had to bring them personally. I was saving all my dinoflagellates for when I could come in person. Katie Rome says it looks like Patrick Starr. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? It needs to be pink. I guess when you colorize it. Right? Yeah. You work I'll your... See if I can find a, a square diatom to stick in the corner. And I'll color it yellow. <laughs> All right. Speed. Uh-oh. What? Shadow effects are being mustachioed. Oh, are we going to mustachio it? I feel like you have to now. I do. You want this, you want Patrick mustachioed. Well, I need your help and assistance for the mustachioing. All right, so I'm going to... Get the yeah. brightness and contrast so loud. I feel like that needs to happen. Yes. I was just going to zoom out and cruise around. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so I think the mustachio, if I remember right. Hold on. Just have to unlock it and turn the eyeball on. Mustachioed. There, and then just resize it. All right. <laughs> How about that? Give it eyes. Don't have eyes. We Do don't we have, have eyes. eyes. We only mustache. No eyes. Only mustaches. Uh, if it doesn't that. have eyes, that's too bad. But those little bumps that are up at the top look a little bit like they could, you know, up at the top on the organism. They come down from the cone. There's tiny little side bumps. Side bumps. Yeah, where the plates are basically mm. sticking out. Those look like they could be eyes. These could be eyes. Yeah. Shadow Facts says it looks good. Looks good? You're happy, Shadow Facts? They paid their points for that. They so. did? Are you happy? Do you want Do you want to see, like, I mean, we can, like, we can give it, like, the little mustache treatment, just, oh, yeah. you know? I mean, oh, that's, that's nice. It's kind of nice, too. Yeah. Right? A petite mustache. A petite mustache. And then, you know, we can like, move it up just a oh, yeah. tiny bit. KP, we, we were going to add googly eyes. I have that as a plan in the future to add googly eyes. I, I needed to get a gift that would actually make the eyes. I made a googly eyes thing for you, but, but it's of you. But not for like I can not, stick on Not here. that you can stick on there. Right. Is that a paper towel with a mustache? Close. <laughs> Mustaches. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the googly eyes. So close. I can't grab them and move them. <laughs> Thank you for the googly eyes, Shadow Facts. If only we could move them around. I know. That would be fun. Okay. So I am going to wink out the mustache. And lock it. Oh, oh, sorry. Put it back on in case some eyes drift in the right way. No? Okay. There we go. Mustache gone. That's a lot of eyes. That was a lot of eyes. I'm starting to learn my way around your computer. Yeah. Just the tiniest bit. Okay. It was a good effort. Oh, who are you? What'd you find us? Just a triangle one. A triangle diatom? Yeah, well, it's a uh, lycmophora, lycmorpha? Lycmophora. Lycmophora. I don't think, have we gotten a picture of one of these yet? I don't remember. Um, well, I did give you all of my pictures that you... I know, I know. I would say no. I don't think so. Yeah, that's a weird diatom. Isn't it cool? They, they make these really fans. They look really cool. Like, yeah, in, yeah. in live samples, they look really cool. And then... There's a foot pole up here. They're, like, super delicate. So when you process them, they just destroy it. Yeah. But there's a foot pole up here. A foot pole, yeah. A foot pole. 
you have your foot pole in the air. Yep. So I need to get my foot pole on the ground. Uh, Do you? I think so. You, uh, could, you could probably just flip that picture over and post, you know. I could. But I can do it on an angle, right? Wouldn't that give us a more diatom? Sure. It's like 45. I'm never going to complain about that. More diatoms, okay? Uh, let's see. God, moves. Just scary. Disney Dad. Disney Dad. Eyeballs. One single eyes, I think. And then uh, he said it's a Dorito. <laughs> it's like a Dorito diatom. More like a pizza wedge. But it's like if the pizza... Pizza? The pizza was really wide. Pizza. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. It does, doesn't it? Pizza. Uh, We're having is this pizza. This is where Ant-Man Quantamania shooting happened. I don't think so. Hmm. We're not in Ant-Man's super small universe. No. Okay. Too much. Here's what we have for your core. Look at that. And then I have one more sample on that sample I guess. Oh my gosh. These are really cool. It's so cool. From the very bottom of the core. And a lot of little vials. So. <gasps> I can smell them. <laughs> yeah. It's on my hand. I can smell them too. Mine too. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Get one vial. I'll be here. And I'm going to Vials. 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 Okay. Sample and put it to the tray. All right, beam intensity seven. Hold down the fort. You know, I'm good at that. Yeah. I can hold down the fort. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun here. I really shouldn't be allowed to have this much fun. Do you feel guilty when you have too much fun? It's kind of like that. Okay, right about there. Let's see. Oh, that's much better. See, there's a little foot pole. Let's see. All right. I feel like I want to go in closer to focus it better. Hmm. Maybe right here. No. Nope. Let's see. Just zoom way in. And then I'm going to focus it. And I don't have chat open. So I'm so sorry. And I'm going to try and get this a little bit out. I think that's, that's probably as good as it's going to get. And a tiny bit. Let's see. It's a new diatom. It's not a new diatom. I see these in live samples. They're actually really cool on live samples. So um, let me get this first because I can talk while it does its thing. So speed seven, beam intensity seven. All right, so it's gonna go really slowly and I'm going to auto brightness and contrast. So I asked the machine, why did it go so fast? Beam intensity seven usually takes a lot longer Speed seven, huh, cool. All right, then I'm gonna take a picture and we'll see what happens. I did do auto brightness, right? I think I did. Yep, it's just going really quickly. Hmm, okay, I'll take a picture. And while it's taking a picture, I can go back to OBS because now I know where to go to get it. And I can watch it draw with you. Mustachioed, locked. There we go. All right, sounds like she's been doing this business for years. Uh, thanks, Headshot Specialist. I am just so excited to be here, and um, it's been like an intensive few days. Um, definitely not enough time. I, I really want more time. It just doesn't work out for me to have any more time right now, and. I appreciate the access I've gotten here. It's just so spectacular what I've been able to do in the streaming. Oh, you raided the channel. Oh my goodness. Woo. Sherez, Sherazad, thank you so much for raiding. Welcome raiders. 
Wow. Oh my word. Okay, so I am not Diatom's attack. Diatom's attack is um, out of the lab for just a minute. Uh, my name's Pacific Plankton, and I stream, I usually stream uh, live plankton from a uh, light microscope. But for a few days, I've come to the dark side, and I am here in, um, in Indiana at uh, Diatom's Attacks Lab. And I'm using their scanning electron microscope right now to look at diatoms and dinoflagellates from San Francisco Bay. I brought them with me all the way to Indiana. It's so cool. And I really appreciate you bringing your, um, your viewers here. Um, so welcome. Um, usually there's a guy here with a beard. Um, and oh, there he comes. We got raided. There's like... What? Yeah. I was just going to do the shout out and I'm like... Oh. Yeah. I'm described as a guy with a beard. I like Yes. It. Well, you are. Right? That's uh, accurate. It is. I was trying to be accurate. Uh, wait. Yes. I'm getting there. And I do the shout out because... Ha! I did it. Oh. It says you did it and I did it. Ha ha. Because this is your stream. I see. I did. So that's Diatom's attack. Wait. Hi. Wait, where is he? There he is. There's my beard. There's the beard. So welcome. Hey, Evilazi. I, I'm going to do shout outs or because I, I need to save the Just picture. Evo. Evo. Okay. With the exclamation point Ex in the front. Here's a shout out for Evilazi. Welcome. So cool to have everybody here. This is actual plankton, yes, and I am Pacific plankton, and um, it's actually from the Pacific. I'm actually, yeah, and this is from the Pacific, and I came from the Nothing Pacific coast. Nothing is impossible. Whoa! None of you can imagine it. Danko has joined the Diatom army. Oh, new news. New, new. Good news, everyone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna. I need to close this for a second. Not close it. Just minimize. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I stop the stream. Good news, everyone. Good. All right, I'm gonna save this. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oops. <laughs> That's a good kind of oops, though. Good news, <laughs> everyone. We start it up again, right? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess it feels like if we feel like continuing streaming, I guess sure. Good news, everyone. Ah, uh, look at this. What? Show me. Oh. Uh, oh. And just like that, the stream ends. No, I didn't do it. I know. Good okay. news, everyone. It's like working on someone else's computer always feels. It's like cooking in someone else's kitchen. A lot like Pay yeah. Maui salary. Because you understand basically how everything works. It's just nothing is where you would normally keep it. Imagine if you were cooking in somebody else's kitchen, and then. Good like, news, you know everyone. What? We should add a new counter over here, and maybe take and get some new appliances for the new counter. Yeah. How do you feel about that? And what if we get a bunch of modifications for your computer? Yeah. Uh, Good no, news, everyone. Says, what do you do with the plankton? I take pictures and um, use, well, me in San Francisco. I take pictures, videos. I post them online, but I, um, I mostly donate them to a local national marine sanctuary to use in their education programs. So, because I think it's not just amazingly cool but really beautiful too i just dunk them in acid that's what he does with them <laughs> like literally like really strong acid too yeah yeah strong acid. strong acid not that stuff that your stomach makes not not so here's a question why why do you sometimes use nitric acid and sometimes hydrogen peroxide nitric acid is much stronger and so if there's a lot of organic matter, mm -hmm. always use nitrate. Okay. So your samples come to us with a bunch of plankton, or zooplankton, and sometimes plant debris and whatever yeah. else in them. Mm -hmm. And I want to get rid of all that. Okay. So for the samples, so you're looking at unprocessed samples right now on the SEM. Yes. And that's what it would look like if we didn't have any processing done. But if I just want to look at the diatoms and I want everything to be clean, which is the way I usually want things, then... Um, then we would put it into nitric acid. The other thing is it actually works a lot faster because we boil it in acid. We actually turn the heat up to speed up the digestion process. But if you were to um, put it in the hydrogen peroxide, you could also speed that up. 
by um, heating it up as well. Um, so we could have that work um, just as easily, but the hydrogen peroxide is actually an exothermic reaction, so it speeds itself up a little okay, bit. Okay, so for the non-science folk, exothermic. Exo means out or up, and thermic means temperature. So it turns the, temp the temperature goes up as the reaction occurs, so it, it gives off heat, basically. And because it gives off heat, and then the heat speeds up the reaction, then it gives off more heat, and then it gives off, you know, speeds up the reaction even faster, it tends to run away. So if there's a lot of organic matter and you put it in hydrogen peroxide, it usually explodes, like, out of the vial. Um, and it will actually melt plastic. If, uh, so that's why we use glass vials instead of plastic vials, because wow. it will speed up so fast it will melt the plastic um, that wow. the containers are in. You don't and mess around. I don't. So no. that's why we very serious. usually just go ahead and stick it into nitric if it has a lot, of, so that we don't have a crazy reaction like that. Samples that come from lakes, usually we use hydrogen peroxide because the hydrogen peroxide um, is more traditionally, we'll, we leave it in there for weeks and uh, put it in the sample and we just let it sit in the hood and digest very slowly over, like I said, a matter of a week or so, two weeks, three weeks, until it stops reacting, basically. So, um, but it, it tends to be it tends to run away if there's a lot of organic matter present. And so we usually just switch to nitric and then heat it. And nitric acid is, uh, when it reacts with the process, is not exothermic. So it doesn't create these crazy runaway reactions and, um, and get out of control typically. Hello, Mallory. Hello. We're streaming. Yeah. She's just letting you know so you don't pick your nose. Mm -hmm. Can you hold all these at once? Or do you need a tray? Um, oh, you can just take better in this section. You're going back to the left, right? You can if you want. Why is it black? Oh, why is it black? Uh, it's made out of demon blood? Yes. S that's, that's the kind of s sample I collect. Is there charcoal in it? No. Well, maybe. There could be. We uh, don't know yet. It's the blood of demons. It also smells like. I pulled it from the bottom of the lake just for us. It's very sulfuric. Yes. No, you can take that with you as well. You can. I might have gotten a little stuff on it that you can clean off before. You want that? You don't need to take all of it. That's good enough. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's going to get them started in night. <gasps> Thank you, Mallory. And then I'm going to take them off when we're done streaming or later today after a couple of hours so that Mallory doesn't have to wait around until it's done. So now would be a good time for me to get my computer. Oh yeah. And then I can sit here next to you instead of looking on my phone. Yeah. Hold down the chat. So Hold down the chat? Hold down the chat while I'm gone. I've not been looking at the chat. I know. I'll bring, I'll bring chat back when I find something cool. Hey chat. Hold on, I'm coming. I thought he was watching the chat, see? All right, hold on, there I am. Okay, let's see, what did I miss? What did I miss? Let me go back up here. All right, a lot of good news. What do you do with the plankton? Yep, went over that, uh, share your social media. Um, oh, yes, uh, so I am Pacific Plankton on Instagram and Pacific Plankton on Twitter and Pacific Plankton on Twitch. Normally I stream Pacific time um, from 9 to 11 p.m. because that's when it's the quietest in my science sport and even then it's not that quiet. So um, that's, that's mine. I have a Discord, it's out there. I'll try and put it into, I'll put a link into Diatom's Attacks Discord. He has, let's see. Oops, I think he has a Discord that I hopefully just posted a link to. Nope, I didn't spell it right. I actually, Dell, hey Dell, I'm here, look, I'm in the lab. Sorry, very excited. It's just so cool to be here. Okay, uh, let's see if I can do this right. Here we go, typing and talking, ha. There you go. So now you can join the Discord. I like to hang out in Diatom's Attacks Discord. He's got lots of friendly people in there, so uh, it's not super busy. So, and you should check out Dell because here's, 
because Dell's awesome. He's another microscope streamer, um, and he does fresh water. So I'm I'm the salty fresh salty. I'm the salty water person. So I look at marine plankton, zooplankton, phytoplankton, right? The animal plankton and the plant-like plankton. And it's, um, I am the salty tear sweet. And then um, I am the light to diatoms attack. Well, he's in the other room right now. Um, to his dark side. So right now we're using his scanning electron microscope. <gasps> Sarah Holcomb, hey! I am just going really slowly. Aw, Thank you, Dell. Thank you for that. Okay, I am. Shoo. Nushka Swamp, then it boils out of the jar. Okay, I'll I'll let Diatoms attack catch up. See, light, dark, salty, sweet. They're all there. It's so much fun. So this is an unprocessed sample, and I can't control it on Discord, so I have to switch back. And when I switch back, I can't see chat. So um, hold on. Here we go. There we go. Uh, I want to find something that I can take a picture of and then I can slow down. <laughs> I can try and slow down. I'm just so excited being here. Everything's going by way too fast. And I think if I slow down, I'm going to miss something. Um, so I've had the opportunity. Oh, look at this here. Although we've taken pictures of that one before. Maybe. Maybe I can zoom in on it. Guess who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Dell's here, and Sarah Holcomb's here. Oh, wow. I know, the gang's all here. You gotta catch up on chat. Well, because I'm not, I'm not doing very good. I'm not, um, not good at doing everything at once. I'm not familiar enough with this to bounce back and forth mm -hmm. the way you do. You, okay. you do it so much better. Well, it's an acquired skill. Definitely. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, wow, I have a bunch of people that follow. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. They must have came in with the raid. I think Thank you, raiders. Because, them, because there was a bunch of follow sounds and stuff for a while there. Nice. Um, okay. I see you tried to type Discord. I did, but um, you I, got a I did get shout it. Out. I did. I did. And I, I was working on it. I'm not. It's all right. I'm getting there. You can't moderate and run a channel. And, and run the SEM. I am not, I don't have the number of hours of experience with the SEM to hmm. be. That's weird. Uh, no, it's not weird. It's because I've only been here a couple of days. Did you answer this question about Which will mar microbes be able to adjust fast enough to the oceans as more carbonic acid becomes present? No, I did not. That's a question for you. That's a question for me. Sure. Isn't it? It depends on how fast the change is. And there's always going to be winners and losers in the di different systems. That's true. So, um... Yeah, I'd rather not find out the hard way. Uh, Lou Gonlo says, uh, is this a scanning electron microscope, right? Or this is a scanning electron microscope. It is, right? right. And uh, Cyclil says, these photos are so cool. We need one of these uh, for the Discord pics, guys. Need one of this. Oh, the one that you had, I guess, for the oh. Discord pictures. I guess they Good news, it. everyone. OK, well, he's going to have all of them. Yeah, I'll have the pictures, and then we'll post them into the Discord, and or I'll colorize some of them and put them on Instagram, and some of those will also oh, make it nice. back into the Discord. So, okay. depends on how nice they look. So yeah. Oh, well, should we um, should we do the the stigmation thing? Probably. Hang on, okay. I gotta catch up. You, okay, you catch up. Sarah says, "Oh my God, dual stream, two amazing folks in the same place." And then. So uh, much fun. Uh, Luke on Lou says, Luke on Lou says, uh, what are the grains that are in the surface? I think they mean in the background. So uh, it, this is the unprocessed sample, so it's debris. It's um, everything from like little bits of sandy, clay-y, other pieces of organisms, pieces, pieces of diatoms, um, just all kinds of stuff. Ooh, we don't have a picture of this tintinid. <laughs> Or, or that dinoflagellate. Del says he just put up a picture, a video about a rotifer on TikTok. Ooh. And uh, look at that. Sarah see? says, I'm so excited to see you in the stream. It's really fun to be here in the stream. Thank you very much for inviting me. Sure. Of course. Uh, let's see. Wrote it for dance number on TikTok. 
Uh, there's a lot of what is that. There's Sorry, Lugon Lo, they don't know, uh, you know, like keeping up with the chat and not being able to see what they're doing while you're running the SCM is hard, which is why I should be sitting here, but I wasn't. Uh, Kitasaurus, Anna said, so it must have been back then. Ooh. Um, let's see. We got some more follows from somebody named Kid Demuro. Uh, Anna says, I'm confused. I think we need to stop. I think I need to stop working. I'm trying to ID a star anise at the moment. What if I got the genus wrong on that one, too? I don't know. Well, you can always put what you think today and then look at it with fresh eyes tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good point. Because then tomorrow you might go, huh, what was I thinking? Or, wow, okay. I am so good. It, I'm caught up for the most part. You are. They're asking Dell about his poetry, so I feel like, you know, okay. you I can was... read Vogon poetry at them, and oh, we will... Cool. <laughs> it's not Vogon poetry. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't think so. Uh, we can do the wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. And they don't fall over. The weeble. Wobble. Um, zoom in um, on some particle that we could easily identify. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. How about that one? That's fine. Keep going. Zoom. Keep going. And put one of those little black dots in the middle. And then hit the buttons that's got the W with the wiggles around it. This right one? There. Yeah, that one. And then hit next. There's a wizard. Oh, see how it's wobbling? Yeah. We need to like, make it not wobble. We do. Yeah. How do we do that? Uh, yeah. On your console, one of those says X and one of them says Y. That's the X direction. This so is the X direction. Turn the X one. What happened? What? We got another raid. We Party got a of raid? five from Zetchap. Woo! So you Welcome in, people. This button? Yeah, turn it. Turn it. Does it, it should get less wobbly if you turn it the right direction and more wobbly if you turn it the wrong direction. So I, I don't actually know if it's getting better or worse. I can't tell. It's wobbling a lot. It's wobbling a lot. It's like so wobbling so much. It's hard to that tell. Seems like worse. Seems like worse. Okay. So it's like got significant. Is that better? It's getting better, I think. Okay. Now it's just going in circles. It's going like, dip, 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 dip. it's not going all the way across the screen. True. So keep going. We need to stop wobbling. Can they see the wobble? What? Yeah, they can see it. You can see it. Now it's just pulsing. You see that? It's sitting in the corner, but it's just sitting there. You can actually move that little window. Oh, I can. Okay, Yeah, good. it'll get rid of the crosshair, but it will. you can move it. Put it back in, put it all the way in the middle of that. So now it's, it's doing a little bit of up and down motion. And that's because you can control X or you can control Y. And when you get X in control, then it, Y is the one that starts to look like it's not going in the right direction. And so now you need to one. fix the Y. Now it's getting worse. This is the first time I fixed a wobble. Yeah. It's close. Now it looks like it's more or less just pulsing, right? I think so. So the reason it's doing that is it's taking the image a little bit out of focus up and down. Mm -hmm. You know when you said you were focusing and then it was going it was out moving, of focus? It was moving, yeah. Because when it's, when it's, the wobble's not set right, what happens is um, when you focus, it's moving the stage up and down just a little bit. And when it takes it out of focus, it takes it out of focus sideways because it's not aligned. Now mm -hmm. it's aligned. And so instead of getting a wobble, you've got it basically dead on. So the beam is now coming and it's going where it thinks the beam is supposed to be. And so now when you focus, it's just sitting there pulsing hey, the middle of the screen Sally. instead of moving up and down or left and right or in a circle. It was actually going mostly left and right, but it was actually going a little up and down. Yeah, right? yeah. So now it's just sitting there. Okay. Oh, uh, we got the sub gift sub. Oh. Subscription. It's hypnotizing, yeah. The okay. wibble wobble. The wibble wobble. So the wibble wobbling is stop wobbling just hit finish. Okay. And now your image will gradually get a little bit easier to control. So when you focus, you'll have to focus it, but you can yeah. actually get it to focus a little bit better now. So 
And then the stigmation, is that the stigmation? Like what's We need that? to do something else for the stigmation, but this isn't a good target for the stigmation. This okay. is just basically, now we've got it mostly in alignment. Okay. And you're so zoomed in, but you're still at beam intensity 10, right? So yeah. this is just gonna give us, it's like basically step one into putting glasses on our machine. We've actually got the beam focused on the lens effectively, if you think of it like light. So it's like we've corrected the vision. So it mm -hmm. was having some, it was slightly like nearsighted or farsighted, except for it only has X and Y. Yeah. So, Good but news, it was like everyone. X and Y sighted, and we fixed that. Yes. Um, or actually, I guess it was Y sighted, and we fixed the X sighted, right? So now it's clear. So, but it can still be astigmated, which is the shape of the image, right? So like astigmation is like things that are round look like they're oval, mm -hmm. right? And it, if it's oval like this, there's a little bit of an X and a Y component again. So we're gonna actually put lenses on it to make that go back to a circle. Okay, nice. Yeah. So That's, we need to find something like a diatom. Yeah, I like to look at things like Kerbera. They have a bunch of little dots next to each other so that I can make them a perfect shape that I know and also okay. I can finally focus on it. So we should go to a clean sample for that, but I want well, to take a picture of you this. can go ahead and take pictures. The thing is, we only need that when we're super close. So astigmation doesn't have any influence when you're really far away from it like we are. So our Really far right away. Now, well, we're only 3,000 times magnification, so. It's only 3,000 times. All right, um, beam intensity, seven. So at 3,000 times magnification, the stigmation is not important. Scan speed, seven. It will make your image I mean, it, it can't make your image blurry enough, basically, because we're so far away that all of the image is in focus. And when you start to get closer, then it has this problem where basically you're looking at some things and you're trying to find the details. And so if it's a slightly oval shape and it's supposed to be a circle, you'd never know from out here, right? I would not know from out here. Same thing would happen if we would do the wobble, but we were looking at the wobble from out here instead of zooming in really closely. You could get it so it stops wobbling. Hey, Maori, sorry. Get, the better the wobble is. So if you were... Looking at that little dot and going, oh, it could be a little bit better. Oh, it's another gift subscription. Oh, my goodness. Sarah, Sarah Hulkman is Sarah Hulkman. giving out a um, Well, a it's still September, right? Slip -close. It's still it is September. For a few days. I know. I made it here for September. It's here. So that you can get subs on your channel. All right, I did the That's brightness. Great. Uh, you still haven't, by the way, caught up with me and the followers. I thought no, we were going to have that. No, I haven't. Where you were going to get haven't. a bunch of followers. So you should hey, follow Mally, Pacific Sally. Plankton if you're following me as well. Thank you. And uh, and then double follow her. I'll be Make back. Make a separate we account and then that. follow her again. Can't do that. So hey, Maui, Sally. I want real followers. Just well, they could just watch it on two computers at once. Nah. One with each I'm eye. Good. Look at that. I think that's, so I think that, speaking of going in really close, Mm -hmm. You see what that is? It's round and it's, it's round white, and it and looks it's like it's maybe calcareous. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to look. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I don't know. I think it might be um, a little clump of uh, cysts or something. I want to oh. look at it really close. Okay. Really closely. There's a hype train that started. You got a hype train going? No, I almost never get hype trains. Man. There's all kinds of stuff going on. I should come visit more often. Yeah. I just have to fly to Indiana. <laughs> fly to Indiana. I don't care. We've had a guest room. You could stay there, you know. So now you tell me. Well, you know. I could have been strange. You could have been strange. I could have been strange. Yeah. She didn't want to tell me she liked key lime pie in advance, so I feel like probably staying in my house. I would need to know whether they like key lime pie before they stay in my house, basically. So So that would be question, what, six? I don't know where that, hey, now where that question somewhere lands. Down, somewhere way down the line. I finally got to the question. Well, Sarah's just giving out gift subs all over the place. Left and right. Sarah, you're crazy. What are you doing? This is like four gift subs in a row she's Oh my goodness. Out. She's just like in here blowing up my hype train. Wow. So this is a tintinid. So we see a lot of tintinids, but this is a different tintinid than we typically see. It's a well, it's long, like, uh, narrow tintinid. It looks like... Um, it looks like a vase. It does. Yeah, it's vase shaped. It has a lovely lorica, and I still haven't seen the ones that look like the little. Um, where did we see Wine them? glass. No, like we haven't seen that dino. No, the oh, one. Oh, the tintinids. The tintinid. It looks like a, um, like a pacifier or a mm -hmm. hat, with a flange. It has a wide flange. I seen that one. No, see, there's there's stuff left to see. There's so much yeah. to see. Now you can watch the stream without the ads, and you can spam all these cool emotes that I have. So many the cool emotes. Cool emotes that are in here. 
we got good emotes. Good and, news, uh, everyone! You know, I would actually want to point out that all the emotes that we have in the channel are probably actually a result of Sarah, Sarah Holcomb, again, because when I first started streaming, she came in and she just blasted my channel with like 50 subs. That's so cool. And then cool. I had all these extra emotes as a result wow. of that. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And uh, so probably the reason I have so many cool emotes, even to begin with, is, is Sarah's uh, responsibility there. So um, just to, you know, take responsibility, Sarah, for all the crazy things that I do. All right. Um, I'm curious. Ugh, speed. Oh, uh, Slight Quills wants to know, why does it look like it has grains of something on its surface? On the tintinid? Yeah. So it has, so the, a tintinid is a, it's a organism, it's a single cell organism. And it, um, it has this uh, outer protective coating. And some tintinids um, agglutinate, basically they glue things to this coating that they use to protect themselves. It's called a lorica. And um, the reason why it looks like there's little stuff stuck to it, it's because there's little stuff stuck to it, and that's how it makes it um, what yeah. it is. It makes its skeleton by sticking junk to itself. It does. It protects itself, it's kind of like an amoeba. Armor. Amoebas do that. Yeah, we have some examples of testate amoeba yeah. and another stub. I know. <laughs> like... We just have to push a button and we can see some of those. See, look, they look like little... What is it? I don't know. Oh. I don't know what it is. I thought you were going to reveal to me. Like, oh, no, I don't know what it thing, is. Because you're like, it doesn't look like it's supposed to. It doesn't look like, like well, it's supposed to because I don't know what it is. Like, it doesn't look like what... And it's like, oh, it's got little lumps. Maybe it's a tiny little diatom, but it's not. Maybe it's a coccolith. I was thinking, oh, you know. So how do we... Um, I got people for that. You got people for that. Just take a picture of it when it's in focus, and then we'll... All right. We'll show it to them. Not out. I want in. I'm not sure what it is. Neither but it am looks I. like maybe it's a cockle. That would be cool. I think that would be my first cockle. My, my very first cockle Okay. It looks like little plates, doesn't it? It kind of does. Um, I don't know what that is. Actually, it looks like a bunch of those little things we found inside the... Uh, That's a, like maybe they're oh my seat. Oh my oh, seat. Right? The little spores of... It looks like those, actually. It could be. It All looks right. a lot like those, now that we're a little closer. All right. So... I would... Oh, I'm still at beam intensity 7. So if I wanted it to be sharper, I would take the beam intensity lower. Yeah. Right? So I could go to like 6 yeah. or 5. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, Slow the speed down. Yeah. So six. And I'm in the right place. Did you see the little pop-up window? What did it say? It said... It said something about the beam intensity. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh. All right. And speed... Let's see. That is really small, though. Those are a lot smaller than the things that we saw. They, they do. They live a similar shape, but they're a lot smaller. Mm. Let's see. Well, there's one thing I can say with confidence. Not a diatom. I know. It's not a diatom. This is not the diatom you were looking for. Oh, Adele posted the TikTok video that he put on uh, oh, yeah? into the Discord. So if you're interested in seeing his I am TikTok interested. Video, you can check it out. So I don't have TikTok. You don't have TikTok? Mm -hmm. You don't. Don't use it. Really? I hear it's a great platform for making fun of politicians, so maybe I should invest in it. You know, you could also do your classes in TikTok segments. And then, yeah, you could do a TikTok for each... Genera. It would be like the diatoms attack. TikTok attack. TikTok attack. Diatoms a TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok attack. TikTok attack. Uh, so how do I get it? It's Lou Don Low says, "Do I play Minecraft? My daughter plays Minecraft, and then I play Minecraft when she plays sometimes. But more recently, we started playing Valheim, 
Mm, and, that's um, fun. Pacific and I play Valheim together quite frequently when she has her computer that plays games. Well, so I'm traveling. Right I travel light. I um, do, and I haven't had time because I would rather be doing this yeah. right now. That's true. I would. But I haven't played the Minecraft, I haven't played in a while because they had a whole update with like the caves and whatever update and I never did that. So my daughter's played it since then. Though. So what can I do to make it sharper? Focus it? Did you try focusing I it? I did try focusing it. Oh. Um. Maybe not enough. There we go. That's a little better. That's a lot better. Uh, and then, yeah, just... Uh, so, beam intensity 6. Yeah, speed and 8. Speed 8. And auto brightness. Yeah. And then we'll take a picture. And yeah. then I can talk and chat, too. Yeah, that's how we roll. Uh, let's see. Oh, Del says it was a YouTube link. Oh, it was a YouTube link? Yeah. Nice. He said his video almost went viral. Wow. He has one that went to 50,000 views. He says it wasn't science related though. Oh, that's okay. Was it fun related? I guess we'll have to watch. We will. Only we can find out uh, by clicking the link. Click the link. Yeah. Better click it. Very fun, but not safe for work. Oh, okay. okay. Good to know. We definitely shouldn't be, like, streaming it then. No. This is a safe for work. Yeah, we're at work. Well, I'm at work. He's at work. Technically. I'm at play. <laughs> My work is a little bit like play. If you're lucky, your work is like play. I mean, not you personally. I meant in general. People are lucky if their work is like play. I feel. Oh, Sam ran my uh, Actinopticus through a denoiser. Ooh. I think he has Topaz. Mm. And he sent me a picture of it. But he says he's not sure it improved the subject, but it got rid of the uh, noise in the background. Nice. Slightly. I used some sort of denoiser for that from Lightroom. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, uh, it probably would be better if I bought the Topaz tools, but I still haven't done that soon. So thanks for uh, running it through that. Though. Right. It's on my to-do list. I keep thinking I need to get it. So, yeah. he posted it in the general science section. Very cool. I will check it out. When I'm sitting at the airport. Right. On your way. As long as I make it in time for the plane. So, the other day, uh, in the channel, we had um, Pingaline. Uh-huh. And I added them to the microscope streamers. I don't nice. know if we gave them a shout out because I don't know if I was paying attention enough. Um, but also another person. Um, so while Dell is here, I'm just going to go ahead and send out a, a a link for. I know we already shouted out Dell, but um, people who are here, if you're interested in microscope streamers, I made a list for you, and you can just go right down the list and uh, follow all those people because they're all really great. And um, uh, Porcelain Giant, that's the person who was here in the channel. Oh. And they said, oh, they just bought a microscope. Yes. And they started streaming from their microscope as so well. Cool. So cool. Um, so that's a good list. That's got uh, Pacific, obviously, and Adele, who's here in the follow marathon. Yeah, do it. Um, <laughs> Spider ID, who rated us a couple of days ago. Open Set, who was um, a guest uh, on... Oh, that's right. On Mind of a Snail. A I know, puzzle. it does, doesn't it? We need to fix it. Okay, we'll fix um, it. Well, you can just leave this picture go and then really? we'll fix it. Well, you can take it, and I can try to fix it. Okay. We need a stigmate, I think, is the issue, because we're kind of close. We're kind of close. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop it. Okay. I'm going to use Hit the... Hit the brakes. I'm hitting the brakes. Pump the brakes. <laughs> Pumping the brakes. <laughs> I'm bumping them hard right now. All right. I'm going to zoom out. It used to be a very short list, uh, and I actually had to take some people off of it, because I haven't seen a Tiny World stream in a really long time into Twitch. Um, no. But really, a Tiny World was sort of like got us all going early on, uh, sort of a pioneer, and um, uh, Freckled Science and mm -hmm. sort of a tiny world of like the two original kind of um, putting 
microscope streamers on. What's, what are we doing? No, we I was just. Icons? Well, yeah, it was uh, yes. Okay. But um, I figured for the stigmation, it would make more sense to have yeah. a clean sample. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Which one do we choose? I don't know. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, Fazaria also sings music, and then sometimes she pulls out a microscope and shocks everybody by uh, looking Doing through some samples. Science things. Uh, Line Wizard, I saw on like earlier this month. They were playing some of their own like musicy stuff in the background, and then they were doing some microscope stuff in the nice. foreground. Nice. Um, Protozoan Princess is uh, she's an also artist. an artist. Yeah. So she does a lot of like microscopic art, and also mm -hmm. looks at stuff in the microscope. Um, Jolkson is on all the time. Still hangs out. Uh, usually does these sort of marathon long streams where he has organisms on his microscope and does streamings. He doesn't talk very much, um, but he's there. Uh, Nid shows up in the channel every once in a while. I um, uh, haven't seen Nid do any streaming in a bit, but hmm. also from his microscope occasionally. And then Pangolin. I feel like there's a nice giant list right there. It's a good list. Yeah. So Tiny World isn't on Twitch anymore. Yeah, I think she got uh, upset with the amount of money that Twitch was taking out of her viewers, which is a reasonable thing to move to a different platform for. But she's also doing um, a lot of podcasts, and I heard she got a job doing something. Oh, yeah. And also she just proposed to her uh, partner. Aww. Yeah. Just okay. like yesterday, or the day before. Oh, wow. And they said yes, so... She's gonna get married. They've moved to PEI, and uh, and she had her first stuff that she looked at from uh, marine water. So and she had some stuff up on Twitter about it. So. Needs fixing. Are we ready to fix it? I'd like to fix it. Get it as close as we can to focused, which might be difficult if we can't tell. Maybe I need a different diatom. No, this is a good diatom. I thought it would be, but I'm not, like... Maybe... It's getting closer. Whatever you're doing. I think that's... Is that as good as it's going to get? I think that's... It might not be the right diatom. The right diatom for what? For stigmating. No, I think it'll be good. Okay. It just needs to be focused. We need to stigmate. Let's do it. All right. Hit the stigmation I... button up there. It says STG. It's got a little yellow cone. This one. Yeah. You'll need to make the little box. Oh, this one you have to make the box for it. Probably. Okay. I mean, you don't have to. It's probably a good idea. That's a good spot. Anywhere in there. So, and then you might want to change the beam intensity to seven for now. Oh, beam intensity. Not speed, sorry. Not speed. Beam intensity. Yeah. Seven. Just so it's a little bit brighter. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, make the speed like a four. And then try to get that in focus. See if you can get it any better. Yeah. We're sort of at the limit. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you click the stigmation button, now the X and Y controls in front of you. Uh, sorry, when you click beam intensity, it went back to beam intensity, so you have to click the stigmation button again. Yeah. And then it's just like focus knob, except for X focus is one and Y focus is the other. So just go ahead and twist them until the picture gets better. What's the, um... In the middle, there's a thing that's a dial that has a value. This Let's one? Six? Step six? Step six. Okay, that's probably good. You probably have to turn the knob quite a bit. So. Okay. Just which way? That's the question. That is the question. All right. We'll go the other way. This is the hard part of making the SCM work or look good. So that's getting worse. Hmm. You might also need to go back to the focus knob occasionally, so. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we, 
Maybe do you need to find a different diatom? I think I need a different diatom. Okay. I think it's just... If it's fuzzy? If it's got an organic coating on it still? I mean, I went to stub... I'm on three, so it should be the cleaned... Yeah, but it may just one. have a little bit of... Yeah. ...a layer over it. Okay. Internal views are usually the best anyway. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Because you need to look at the cribber. All right, let's find an internal view. That looks like an internal view. Well, you can look at those little, that's an external view, but you um, can look at the photoportrait with spines if you want more. I could, oh wait, who's that? That one. Give it a try. It looks like the one that I took a picture of yesterday with all the crazy little spines poking into it. Except it doesn't have any spines. Because we can't have it in focus. Mm. The green that's in the front's also not in focus. So that's a good thing to focus on. Yeah, now zoom in. Like way in. Going in. See, there's a little bit of clay on them, but yeah. there's still those little spines there. So move down to one of the little, that, that one, yeah, where you can see the spines, the little parts sticking in. And then just try to focus on that. I think it's going to be pretty close to focus right now. Yep. There you go. And then click the stigmation button if it's not already done. Put the little box around it. And then see if it, even, any of those controls make it look better or worse. that's kind of reshaping it it is it's like it's drifting yeah there that's better it's pretty good and that's it that's the ignition you went a little past it it looks like there that looks better it's as clean as it gets that's really cool yeah that's my first stigmation there you go Woo! okay Let's zoom so out So still have some clays or whatever on the surface of it but um, yeah but at least it's sharply in focus gee i wonder who rinsed that one hmm. Hmm. i don't know i didn't do any rinsing no so must mallory. have been a novice mallory. no no it wasn't mallory. it wasn't mallory she wasn't in that day it was mallory it was a novice. Let's see. What's that? Oh. I feel like your samples are pretty clean after we did them. Maybe they could have gone through a couple more rinses, but... Just need more time. Okay. Are we going to look at diatoms now? We can, look at, we, we can look at diatoms. We can look at diatoms. We can also go back if you want. It's just that you spend all of your time on I one and two. I know. I know. It's because they're really cool. Mm. With the um, dinoflagellates, I just... We, like you said, haven't seen them. Right. So that was kind of cool. We saw all these boring diatoms before. No, we haven't seen all of them before, I'm sure. Because there's always something new to see in the diatoms. It's a big, big pile of diatoms it right is, there. It is, it is. God, I wonder who made this stub. <laughs> she must not have known what she was doing. Was oh, did like... you make this stub too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't take any of the heat off of you, I guess. No, it's okay. I like to own my mistakes. I don't think it's that bad, actually. No. It looks fine. It was just a little clumpy. That always happens. Like the middle always ends up with a little bit more junk than the sides. And so it's actually like a gradient. And I usually hmm. hide that from people by mostly moving around the clumpy areas. So they don't notice. They don't notice. Clumpy. They don't notice the clumpiness. So I'm just because, laying it all bare. Um, because I just go around it. Like, oh, I see the clump coming on one side. And then I just go like Ooh. around the clump. It's the edge. Yeah. And the edge usually gets a little clumpy too. All right, so I'm going to go to rotation. I'm going to go back to zero. And it's going to turn again. God, this still creeps me out. There it goes. That's what happens. You told it to rotate. I know. All it did was listen. I know. It listened really well. A microscope that does what you tell it. Yeah. That rotation is the best part. 
Okay. So. I'm here using the scanning electron microscope. What's that thing in the middle? I don't know. What is this thing in the middle? The bright dot above there. This? Yeah. Let's find out. What'd you find? A bright dot. A diatom. Oh, it's the lysosyra. <laughs> it's just a standing up. It is. It's on its edge. It landed like we flipped With the coin and it landed on the on, edge. Yeah. Somehow. That was nice. Well done. Heads or tails and it said nope. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to poke around because I haven't Sarah looked at this stuff she's yet. getting in the car so she can't watch. So she's oh. going to lurk. Okay. Are you going to lurk? That's what she said? She's going to lurk? Yeah. Yeah. And then Anna said, you say the last Sarah as if it's something distasteful. Oh, no. It's just there's a lot of them in the sample. They're not distasteful at all. They're really cool. They're she little says newts. they're the best diatoms in the world. Really? With an exclamation point. With an exclamation point? I disagree. She's serious about her, the last Sarah. I don't think they're the best in the world. I'm curious what this little pile is. I haven't even named any of them yet. <laughs> Gotta hang out in the Pacific more. We've got lots. Look at that. Well, I got a message from... From... From Eleanor. She wants to know what her diatom is. Oh. Beam intensity, there we go. Beam intensity seven, speed. Oh, we're gonna stay here and I'm gonna focus this. I have no idea what her diatom is. I don't know why, they always think I just know all the diatoms. Well, see the thing is- To species. The thing is, you do know a lot of diatoms. Okay, but like Eunosha, like every Eunosha at a glance? No. 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 But they value your insight. The thing I mean, is, I think Anna also thinks I know what every diatom is. She also just mm -hmm. sends me pictures of things and like, like what's, what's this? this? Yeah. But here's the thing. You've spent a lot of time perfecting the skill. Yeah. Right? You sure. look at a lot of diatoms. Sure. Right? There's a sensitivity or an, your ability to distinguish the subtle features is honed. It's just shape analysis. Yeah. But because you spend a lot of time looking at the shapes. Yeah. Right? People value that. I the, think it's, what's even better is when, um, when I know something is new because I've never seen that diatom before. So Laura showed me something and she goes, I think this is Planethidium. And I was like, that's not a diatom I've ever seen. And she goes, oh, like in the microscope? And I'm like, no, in every book I own on every shelf that we have. I have never seen that diatom. And I've never seen it on any website. I've never seen it. And I can tell right away that's not something I've mm -hmm. seen because I would have seen it and been like, this is weird. And then I would have figured it out, right? Yeah. So, but she showed it to me and I was like, I don't know what that is. Like, I know what genus it is, but I've never seen that species. So most of the species I've seen, because I've looked through all the books, you know, like, I leaf through the books. Yeah. And then I see things. And if it's a weird diatom, then I probably spent some time looking at it. And if it's a really weird diatom and then she showed it to me, I was like, mm -hmm. that's, that's either new or it's super rare. Because, like, I would know. I, I've seen that, you know. She's not working in, you know, South America for her course. She's looking at stuff from North America. And it's like, that's not a diatom from North America that anybody has seen as, as far as I'm aware. So, like, I could tell right away. And I think that freaks people out, too. Because it's like, it's not quite photographic memory. But mm -hmm. I sort of feel like if I've seen it before, I've seen it before. Right? Yeah. But, but here's the thing, right? You, when you leaf through the books, right? You're, you're looking through them and you're building that, that yeah. personal knowledge. And so when someone comes to you and says, what is it? It's like, well, you've done the work of looking through the books and figuring it out previously. Yeah. So sometimes when you tell someone, right, you take away that, that time they would have spent looking for it oh, if it's something. In, yeah. Yeah. Also, I have more books than Anna does, so I think that's also what she's... You know, if you have more books, <laughs> right? I think that's on my list of things is get more books. Uh, it helps. Uh, so Sarah says, great to see and catch both of you uh, on. And um, Del says he's going to lurk. Woo! Uh, and then Sarah says, listen to this witty banner. Exciting, wild. And uh, 
Mushroom Mentor says it makes their brain tingle. Nice. See now. Giving somebody tingly brain. Tingly brain. Um, I hope they didn't thing. accidentally hit an I when they meant to say tangle. Yeah, because right? we could do that too. We don't want to tangle your brain. Uh, Moosey Fate wants to know, do you know how many new diatoms are discovered per year? Ooh. I don't know, but I suspect the number gets bigger every year um, mm. because, you know, there's a lot of people that are just kind of going through new places all the time, cataloging new diatoms all the time. And it's gotten a little bit easier to describe diatoms. Um, when I first started, you had to describe them in Latin. <laughs> and um, I don't know Latin. <laughs> So that was a barricade for me, and I was like, uh, so I've got to hire somebody from the Latin department to translate my gobbledygook English into gobbledygook Latin wow. so that it can get published? Yes. Wow. Wow. Uh, you so do. you've been at it a while. I mean, a little while, but like they changed that rule, I think around 2000 or something, and then I was That's like... That's when oh. they changed it? Yeah. In 2000? Yeah. That recently? Yeah. It used to be, and now it's like you wow. can actually just make a description in English. So if you look through any of the old books, they'll have the mm -hmm. English description, and like somewhere in the back of the book, there's a, a Latin version of it, and they just reference the Latin version. Somebody had to translate that crap. And wow. I mean, maybe it's even later than 2000. Maybe it was like 2010. It's pretty recent. That's frightening. Yeah. And so I was like, well, that was a huge barricade for me because I was like, I don't have, I don't know anybody who speaks Latin or could translate gobbledygook into Latin. You know, like I had. The, all the books in diatom, the early books in diatom stuff, and many of the books today are in German. And um, one of my colleagues, when I was a, um, a graduate student who came into the graduate program uh, behind me, who was in the lab that we were in, was from Germany. And I was thinking, oh, this is great. I've got this friend, you know, we both do stuff, and I could just show him the, um, uh, the diatom books and then he could tell me what they say. And so I showed him the diatom books and he was like, I don't understand any of this. It's in German. And yeah. it was like, none of this makes any sense. It's like gibberish language. Yeah. And I was like, it's, it's the German person wrote it. So like, he's like, yeah, it's just a bunch of like nonsense words. So like, he couldn't make sense of it because mm -hmm. it's science language, which is like a whole separate language for it people. It is, it is. And I mean, even though he was a scientist, and he was like, I don't know, whatever this is, it's a bunch of gibberish. Because it has words like rostrate and capitate and whatever, but they're like the German version. Areoli so it's like, and Ricky. Whatever, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. sexy bits and names of things and whatever. So That's it just made no one. sense. And he was like, yeah, I can't translate any of this. I mean, he could tell us what the words said, but then he would be like, you know, like, it just says things like beak face or whatever. Like, you can't, <laughs> like, how are you supposed to know what that is? Right? It's beak face. 2010. See, Anna says it was 2010. Wow. This happened while she was doing her PhD. Was so, it a good thing that it happened, Anna? Did it feel good that it happened? Like it took pressure off? I think it just it made everybody go, oh, thank God. It's bad enough that we're following like the plant nomenclature because diatoms aren't plants, but we don't know what, what to do with them and nobody established like an algae nomenclature. So... She says, what's gibberish about rostrate and capitate? Perfectly normal words. You know, one time when I was talking to people and they had some pattern and I said, oh, it's orthrhombic. And they just looked at me like I was from outer space. They were like, it's pandiriform. What is orthrhombic <laughs> supposed to mean? And I was like, oh, you don't know what this word means? Like, that's a normal English word, isn't it? And they just looked at me like I was like, you know, like you're a scientist. You just forget. Like, people don't know. Well, I think I knew what that word meant before, but like. Scientists don't, like, we, we use words and we don't realize that, like, people don't know what that word is. Mm -hmm. So I always work really hard now at thinking, like, could I say this sentence to my parents? And so when I stream, I, I, you know, people ask me, like, name the parts. And I can go through and name all the parts for a diatom very easily and talk about shapes and whatever else. Because the science language is easy for me, but it's, like, talking to people who aren't scientists is mm -hmm. the hard part. So... Like for streaming, for talking to the general public to try to give a talk that doesn't have scientists in the audience, it's like I've got to struggle to talk because it is like you're trying to remember or you're trying to figure out like how do I say this in English, you know? Like literally, I'm speaking in science language, right? So I have to like figure out like is there a way to say this in English? Um, it's a challenge. It's a lot harder than you think. 
um, because your brain's programmed with words like prostrate and capitate being normal. Amphora. It is an amphora. It's a strange sample. Like dinoflagellates and amphora. Bon bon, hello. <gasps> It's not Mama Bon Bon, oh, it's Bon Bon, just bon 556. Bon. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, if you say. don't know, it's fine. But, like, do you know a very vague bit ballpark, like, 10, 100,000? Oh, it's at least 100. Um, it's at least 100 species a year. It depends. It becomes very flexible because, like, they went into Baikal and published uh, a book one year that had, like, 10 new genera and but they've been working on it for a while and the book had like probably like 300 new species or something in it and it was over two books but it came out one year so like i don't know i mean they probably worked on it for many many years but then yes it came out all in this big clump and um and that happens a lot so, I mean, you and Reeby just published a book for Great Lakes last year that had, I don't know, 50 new species in it. So it's at least 100. Um, it's potentially as high as 1,000 some years, but it's way more than 10 and way more than 100. And um, in the past, like, um, two years, I think I've published something like 10 species myself, and I'm not a taxonomist, really. So, like... And then I've got You're another... You're not a taxonomist? A, no. Wait. I'm trained as a geologist. Well, I know, but I thought you had this whole long list, right? Well, I'm typically not mostly a taxonomist. It's okay. something that I do. It's, it's a sideline? Like, it's a side job. Okay. The side job's a taxonomist. Side job. <laughs> Mallory. Hello. Hello. Um, yes? You want to tell me about the samples? Yeah. They're on the hot plate. A few of them are in beakers. Cause they've been on the hot plate since like, like right Four. after. Four. Well, it was a little 30. after that because some of them started freaking out. So they did. They did. What like, did they do? Reacting very violently. Yes. To nitric acid. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. Organic rich. Good thing we didn't use hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. A couple of um. A couple of them spilled over, but... Just uh, bubbled over. Yeah, yeah, bubbled over. Um, but those ones are in beakers, and the ones that I thought might bubble over are beakers. Also, they're, um, the bubbles are, like, rising with the heat, obviously. So I don't know if ones that haven't bubbled over won't bubble over in the future, so you might want to check on them, like... This is I very mean, exciting. I just out, like... What's the temperature set on three or two? Two. Okay. And the one that gets hotter, I only put it on like one and a half. So. <laughs> okay. They're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> Blame her. What did you put it on? It's from the bottom of the lake. I just brought up what was down there. But something dead in there. I brought Probably. it to the surface. It's demon blood. There's it's lots of, of dead stuff. in there. It's from the dark side. Yeah, dark, dark side. He took me to take my first um, core sample, and it was from the dark side, apparently. Yeah. Usually they're, like, kind of cute, so... Yeah. Like There's a lake of fire and brimstone. <laughs> okay. So I'll check on maybe 20 minutes or half hour okay. and see what's going on. Um, I didn't... Eleanor's the only one in there, so... She's sending me messages about her diet, Tom, so. I know. She told me she's doing that. Um... So she's not going to know what to do if anything happens? Text you. Yeah, she can text She'll me. She'll probably text you wait for the response. There's like a fire in front of her. Um, Hopefully there's no fire. She also doesn't know they're on the hot plate. Okay. Uh, I should probably tell her how they think about it. Okay. Usually I just tell her to leave if anything happens. It'll be but fine. I feel like that's the... Like, Worst case scenario, we lose some diatoms. It'll be fine. Also, like, all the stuff around. Hot plates, whatever. Oh, there's a there's a there's a beaker with acid in it. Don't knock that over when you open the hood. It's nitric I acid. No. What did I say? It's nitric acid in a beaker. Huh? It's nitric acid in a beaker. Yeah, it's covered. Okay. I'm just saying, like, don't knock it over. Okay. In general, I try not to knock beakers over. Yeah, I don't know. Especially beakers of acid. Well. Also, I stole a whole bottle of nitric acid. I don't know if I was supposed to take the open one, but I did. 
Oh, you didn't take the open one? No, I took the new one. The one that was behind it that was like new? No, in the cabinet. Okay. Because I wanted it. There was another one in the cabinet? No, not in our cabinet, in Jen's cabinet. Oh. It'll be fine. What? Did I not get the right stuff? Does it say nitric acid it on it? It says nitric acid. Because there's sulfuric acid in there. I wasn't going to get that. Okay, I don't want that. Although people sometimes process diatoms in sulfuric acid. Really? Yeah. yeah. They also sometimes stick them in a microwave. I don't think we want to put it in our microwave in the lab. Trying to keep the demon's blood out of the microwave. In the lab. <laughs> demon's blood does not mix well with microwave technology. Okay, thank you. Are you going home? Yeah. Are you flipping me off again? Which way do you want me to do it? This is peace. Is this, peace? this is not. <laughs> <laughs> What's this, what is this? That's mean? Italian for. Actually, it's not Italian. Is it not? No, Italian? no, it's it's um. So, back when the the French and the English were at war, was it French? right? That's what not. what was happening is the they would they would chop the fingers off of the bowmen that they caught, and so if you still had your fingers, you could say screw you to the people who would chop Are the. You are you French? No. Are you English? No. <laughs> take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Are you Mais je peux parler français? What did you say to me? I could speak French. I can't. She uh, said your mom. nothing to me. I don't respect the French. She said your mom. You don't? Is there a French person here? What? She said your mom. That's what she said to you. Please don't I speak mom. French. Uh, let's see. We got off track. We did. We Anna got off says, track. I don't know if it was good. Just one more thing to keep in mind when looking through descriptions, figuring out if they are valid. Yes, for the morning, and maybe, like, till 1. I don't know. I have to check the time of my plane and the time I have to be there and how long it takes to drive from here to there and make sure I don't get mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Well, if I don't see you tomorrow, it's nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you. See you on the Discord. <laughs> I lurk. You lurk? I do. Yay! Bye. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Totally lost the thread. Yeah. Cordis wow. said they're going to unsub and unfollow me because I'm not a taxonomist. <laughs> and then I should burn my computer. And Ooh. then freeze myself for a brighter future. Or they'll freeze themselves for a brighter future when I am a taxonomist, I guess. Mm. Uh, That's a pretty end for us. Let's see. Okay. Uh, ShadowFax posted a bunch of black squares. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, what would be more rare place to have a sample from? Have you been able to study samples from that place? Oh, <laughs> you've had samples from all over crazy places. <laughs> the moon might be a rarer place than some of the places I've looked at stuff from. It would be very rare. Uh, Mars. Yeah. Mars, yeah. Yeah. Whether you'd find diatoms or not is. Uh, Digital Sea Source okay. wants to know what we're laughing at. Let's say we're on mute. Oh. I don't know. We're just having a good time, that's all. Yeah. Uh, from, thermal ends, from thermal vents deep in the ocean. Well, probably there's no diatoms in the thermal vents except for ones that rain out as cadavers onto the top of the thermal vents. Have you looked? I, I will just say this <laughs> in advance from uh, last spring when I was doing the Dr. <laughs> Mo series, but there are some things that are living on the thermal vents because it generates not light, mm -hmm. but light-like things from the heat. Because uh, it generates basically like infrared light, and um, and chemosynthesis, and it can produce enough infrared light to actually allow things to photosynthesize, even though there's no sunlight. So, um, but I haven't looked for diatoms that are living in there that are trying to live off the infrared light from the thermal vents. I gotta talk to my friends at Note and see if I can get you some stuff. You can give it a shot. You never know what um, you'll find. I'm telling you what I really want to sample. Okay. Like in a crazy fever dream, the okay. thing that would be the rarest thing for me to sample oh. would be the surface of a hippopotamus nice. or the fur of a sloth. I feel like those would be great things for me to sample to try to find crazy diatoms. So The fur of a wild sloth. Wild sloth fur. Not uh, the fur itself, just the diatoms the from diatoms it. The diatoms from it, yeah. So, so somebody who cares for and brushes wild sloths. <laughs> right. Right? Is there a person who does that? I'm sure there probably is. Wild There's got to be like 
like a wild sloth rehabilitation facility where, you know, if a sloth falls out of a tree. Oh, look. No, somehow Mallory offended Bon Bon 556 because they're French. Oh. So, and they probably appreciated you talking in French at, at Mallory. So. And somebody says bonsoir. Oh, yeah. Bonsoir. Bon après-midi. Um, Ugh, it's all chock full of stuff. What's chock full of stuff? This. Oh, you found another square <laughs> one? It's chock full filled of stuff. Filled with junk. It's filled with junk. It's like really packed with it, too. Not <laughs> even just like lightly dirty. I mean, look, look. It's oh, oh, I see. The dark squares are because we we're talking about the dark the side. The dark side. Oh, I got it. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry. Uh, people in St. Petersburg's labs looked at thermal vents. See? Oh, they did? There you go. What did they find? Uh, Have they not published it yet? It's hard for me to keep up with the chats now. Oh, I'm, no. I'm trying to hold my chat still so I can read what <laughs> people are here. Chat, hold still. Uh, hold still. There were very, very weird diatoms there. <gasps> Ooh, there you, go. See? there you go. Okay. He said, uh, she says, I don't know if it got published. It was a student's work, and she quit. Oh. Probably because the diatoms were so undescribably weird. Hmm. Um, uh, Moosey Fate says there's got to be a few in chat here. I think they mean French people, or people that speak French. It's spinning, uh, it's spinning, it's spinning. And then <laughs> Anna said even Idaho is a pretty wild place for finding diatoms. That's true, because we have a sample... We found two giant gomphonemoids and maybe three or four new, I don't know, uh, Rechlisphenia potentially, and a, uh, the other day we were looking at, uh, what is that thing, Planethidium or something uh, that's new, or we think is new, right? So you can have a bunch. Okay. Even in places like uh, in Idaho. They don't have any sloth groomers in Idaho, but uh, if they did, wild sloth groomers. Because, so to have the, like, natural flora from their fur, right, they would need to be wild sloth. Because yeah, if they were... Yeah, something living in the wild. Yeah. And also, I don't know if anybody combs off the skin of wild hippopotami, but I feel like that would also be, you know, brushes down their wild hippopotami for algae. See, now I know what to get you for Christmas. Sure. If you got me that for Christmas, I would love it. <laughs> uh, a wild hippopotamus uh, or some of its skin flayed from its back. No, no, no. No, someone can just, like, use a toothbrush That's and fine. clean it. That's fine. Yeah, collect yeah. it. That's all I want, actually. I don't want the skin. And and it's only the tiniest amount because, <laughs> right? Hippo groomer sounds like an occupational hazard. <laughs> yeah, it does. Could be. Slight occupational hazard. <laughs> Uh, Slate Quill says, are there any microbes that derive their energy from radiation, like nuclear radiation? Oh, it's oh, that's you. That's a good question. That's you. Um, there you are some it. microbes that can get energy from, um, from nuclear radiation. Not diatoms, at least not that we know of. Um, but there are some that actually do better, grow better under, um, radioactive energy. Uh, so that's, uh, irradiation, but yes, um... There are some that that we assume that that's the case because they seem to do a little bit better basically under those conditions, but they're not diatoms. Um, I forget what that was, a lichen, I think? That was, uh, there's a lichen that's um, uh, Someone a radiophile. Yeah. And um, I need to look back over my notes from that lecture, but there were more than one. There were a couple of organisms that they think did, did better under those conditions, including the, um, there's some bacteria that they found in the spam irradiated uh, materials that, um, that seemed to do better when there was radiation. So it's a good question. Um, <laughs> a toothbrush or a patch of skin, take your pick. Exactly. Oh, no, the toothbrush. You need special permits to transport skin, but true. Um, just like... You also need permits to, to export algae or living organisms. Well, what if you kill them first? Then it's fine. Yeah. Turn it into a slide for me, and then ship it to me, or put it in some nitric acid on your end. And or hydrogen peroxide. Or hydrogen peroxide or something. Rinse it, and then send it to me. Hey, studio's here. Studio um, critics. The mold of a fungi, yeah. 
Yeah, there is a, a mold of a fungi. A fungi that... Uh, I like to, fungi. Seems to be um, radiophilic, radiogenic, actually. I think this is Peralia. That is Peralia. It's definitely it's what not Eller Becky. I know. You found something you were looking for. It was on the list, on the long list of stuff to like see in person. <laughs> duck, 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 duck Goose says, "I transport my skin all the time without a permit." <laughs> uh, well, you have a passport, right? That's a permit. Studio mm. says, I always label things geological samples or take water samples in shampoo bottles and no one asks any questions. It's <laughs> a good plan, especially the shampoo bottle. Um, and um, if I send samples to people and they ask me what it is, I tell them, oh, they're geological, they're rock samples. See, I've sent you stuff and they're like, oh, what are you sending? Oh, the U.S. post system doesn't care, but if you're trying to send it out of the country oh, and then it they has care. to cross through customs mm -hmm. in any way, it has to be labeled as a rock sample. So if you've already digested it in acid and you've gotten rid of all the organic matter, but you still called it an algae, they'll send it back to you. Ooh. Um, so you have to tell them, oh, those are just, that's like dust, right? It has to be something that is factually true, but uh, doesn't tell them what the actual content is, or they'll, they'll get angry about it. Because they hear algae and they think plant, or they hear algae and they think soil, and it, you can't send soil through the uh, you definitely international cannot mail send without soil. a very serious permit. So, well, there's good reasons. Yeah, I uh, mean, like entire forests of trees gone because people have done stupid stuff. Correct. So, I think that's a good thing. Digital, sea so Digital Seahorse says, "I've shipped a charm bracelet, but didn't declare that it was made of leather." Uh, so nobody would know, I guess. It was processed. It wasn't like raw, fresh. <laughs> hide. Bon Bon wants to know, can I send you some virus, like a flu kind? No, I don't want any flu virus. This is not that level of lab. Um, I work very hard not to get flu virus. I don't want it sent to me. No. And it, you wouldn't really be able to see it well anyway. Can't see any sort of seeds or plant material. You're not even allowed to go to a farm. Basically. Well, you can. You just have to, you like... Declare. Yep, that you bend one. Yeah. I'm taking a picture. It's what we do. I know. <laughs> it's such fun. So, how long did you have to wait before checking the simmering stuff? Another ten minutes. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mallory gets worried about everything. Well... I don't know. <laughs> she comes through and turns off the slide warmer because she's worried the lab will catch on fire. Aww. The slide warmer gets up to the temperature. You can put your hand on it, right? It's true. I actually touched it to see how warm it was. And I was like, it's not a pancake like, griddle. Is it really 40 degrees? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. That's still like, you could have that temperature outside in really hot places. And they have. And they don't catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could cook on them. Well, you, I mean, it's a very slow cook yeah. at 40 degrees. In the sun. You didn't know about visiting a farm? Oh, mm. they always ask you that question if you're crossing a border. Well, into the U.S. anyway. I suppose it depends on which border. It doesn't. No? It's no. all borders? Every border, they ask you if you've been to farms or if you're bringing any produce. Farm product. Farm product. When people say, what's the difference between Ellerbeckia and Perelia? Right. I'm going to have good pictures, and Just I can say, this, one has this is thing. the difference. <laughs> this one's got the lumpy pillars. It looks like a coliseum. Yeah. Nice big uh, spines holding together. wants to know if virus are too small. They're not. Uh, but they are small. small. I could see them, but they would be blurry and indistinct on a scanning electron microscope of our type. Hmm. Um, there are some fairly large uh, viri that you could see on a scanning electron microscope, but um, I don't want to see them, I guess is what it comes down to. I mean, um, if they they're potentially send you dangerous, dead and I don't virus. know how to prep them. Yeah. So um, probably even if we could see them, 
you know, like, they don't know exactly how to prep them, so they probably wouldn't look good. Unless they sent you, like, a prepared stub with the killed virus that's been coated in gold. That'd be fine. But I don't think that they have that capacity. Probably not. I don't know. Where are you getting the virus from, actually? Yeah. <laughs> Do you work in? These are the girdle bands? Um, it seems no. like they are, because there's some on the top one as well that are the same, and they're oriented the same way. On the very I don't think I've ever image. seen the girdle bands. Like, I always see... Um, well, they're very light, and they usually get uh, destroyed. Yeah. So. <laughs> Microwave solves everything. It does when it's a virus. Uh, let's see. I feel like soil samples are transferred all the time because we have treads on our shoes. Yeah, that's why they even ask you if you've even visited farms. Mm -hmm. Because you could have some of the stuff on your shoes. You would be bringing back the next yep. like horrible plague into the U.S. It could be. And it's serious. There's teams of people that work on stopping invasive species from like showing up here because it's not good. And they actually are transferred all the time because people would tell that they aren't or that they haven't been to a farm when they have because mm -hmm. they don't want to have to deal with paperwork. Paperwork. Man, oh, man. Ooh, they oh, just look. have a UV light they run Wait. over their shoes. That would be better. Is that? Hold on. I'm holding on. Hold on. It's not Nitsia, is it? Pseudo Nitsia? It does not look like a Nitsia It doesn't. To me. Do you think it's a... um? No, it doesn't no? look like Basilaria. They have little, like, uh, buckle rings oh. on their uh, thingy. Wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't know either. Where's Anna? Is she still Anna. here? Anna! We need to get an expert. I'd like to phone a friend. <laughs> uh, what can see viruses, then? Um, usually, TEM is the right instrument. It's Which a transmission is, yeah. electron microscope, not a scanning electron microscope. And it sees through the virus um, rather than seeing it but you can see enough of oh. it, basically, by transmitted electrons. Um, that's the most appropriate. There's also some really high-end um, SEMs that have more power than mine for very small things. It's like Lattel. Yeah, it's striata. Striata. She said, all I see is something long, and then said, make it bigger, with a question mark. Oh, okay, I'll go back in a second. Let's go back now. I can go back now. If you're here, I'll go back. She's here. Studio said, I always wash my shoes when I go from national park to national park and wash my car. So washing the car is especially good. And then you can spray the soles of your shoes with alcohol. Um, just if go you go to a local bar and spill some alcohol on your shoes. Stronger alcohol <laughs> is necessary. <laughs> um, Don't ruin my fun. Saying you want to go to a local bar and spill some alcohol in your shoes to keep them safe? I mean, I'm more likely to spill it in my shoes than I am to drink it, so, sure. You want to see the end, Anna? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> zooming out's not going to help. You can see it in relation to everything else. She wants to see the, she wants to see the striation, I think, and the orientation of it. <laughs> I'm Anna said during the pandemic, she started to spray everything with alcohol. Uh, oh, she says, uh, Bon Bon says, thanks. I can wiki those now. Oh, she says use shots. Spill shots and that will work. Really? I mean, stronger alcohol. Still probably not quite strong enough. It needs to be 70% alcohol at least, right? Mm -hmm. I think is that's the... Oh, she says she sees fibula. And I agree, there's fibula there. There's fibula there. So, Nitsia. It is a Nitsia. Or is there something in the ocean that's... Uh, is there something in the ocean? That's not it's Nitsia and... Looks like Nitsia? Looks like Nitsia and You mean like skinny. pseudo -Nitsia? I don't think it's pseudo -Nitsia. Could be, but I don't think so. Oh wait, you can go in really close. Yeah. I don't know why we're sitting out <laughs> It's a scanning electron space. microscope. She says she thinks it's a proper Nitsia. It's a proper Nitsia. Would be my guess, too. It's the outside view of the Nitsia. It's a very long, skinny Nitsia mm -hmm. from the ocean. Oh. With a... Piece of junk? Bump on it. 
with a bump on it. A nodule. I think it's junk. And not just because it's a nitsy. Isopropyl, is that what you're thinking, digital seahorse? Iso something. That's an alcohol. Yeah. That's the kind you shouldn't drink. Don't drink it. <laughs> Unless you want to go blind. Well, I've I've participated in some habitat restoration projects, and before you go into the restoration site, you have to spray down your shoes. Mm -hmm. And then when you leave, right, all the equipment you use gets sprayed with alcohol and your shoes get cleaned again. Um, so. We're on step four. How are we doing? Oh, it's 530. We still have some time. I know, I know, but the time is rapidly disappearing. Yeah. All these people in chat are distracting you. No, they're not. They're lovely. I just need more time. You like that one because it doesn't smell icky like rubbing alcohol does. Anna says, I wonder how all the restored sites around here are covered with invasive species. Is that pretty one again? Studio says, I think the concept of invasive microorganism species is very understudied. I have a paper on this topic that came out in 2020 from a diatom that we believe is an invasive species in the United States. Potentially brought here by invasive fish species that were brought here by humans. So the diatom was riding around in the guts of the fish, and then when they arrived here in the U.S., got pooped out into our water. Because diatoms can make it through the gut sometimes, totally undigested. Yeah, they can be fine. They're like, woohoo, what a ride. Yeah, and also they come out with a little bit of extra phosphorus. Do they actually, do some of them, like, is it a strategy for some of them? To get eaten, to I To get doubt eaten? It. No? It's probably just something that happens. I don't know if you can make yourself taste better for fish. I think they just suck in algae, like, they don't target it. Some of them scrape algae. So maybe for those. Um, she says covered by 80% of the surface or more was invasive species in some of the restored areas. Okay, we're going to look real quick at the creek. I think invasive diatoms should be studied in New Zealand. Okay. Yeah, dumping ballast water is another way that uh, oh, diatoms ballast are water is being brought in. I think we already know that there's some things like actinocyclus that occur in the Great Lakes that is basically a marine diatom and now is inhabiting, um, you know, parts of Lake Superior. It's Campylodiscus clepius, or Campylo, I think it's Campylodiscus clepius, but some sort of Campylodiscus. It's definitely Campylodiscus. <laughs> Shadowfax says, I wasted your valuable time with a mustache redemption. No, the mustache. That's not a waste of time. Nope, mustache was fun. I break for mustaches. <laughs> Anna says I need Salafra help. Oh, is it really you know, Salafra? No, I always think it's Salafra. So. Is it really Salafra? Uh, uh oh, Bonbon bon redeemed a mustachio. Oh, this would be a good one for it. Let's see. I'll remember. Somebody brought it up, and then there it is. And she there says it, it is. really is a Salafra. It really um, is a Salafra, huh? Sarah Holcomb says, can you describe your sample preparation process? How do you collect and separate the diatoms? When do you add the alcohol? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, science! Hey, science Twitch, or yeah, Woo. science Twitch, is raiding with eight viewers, and they raided while we were putting a mustache on a diatom. We're mustaching a diatom. Uh, you like raided mid-mustache. A mid-mustache raid. There you go. How's that? Is that an that looks appropriate? Good. I think it looks sharp. It does. That's a, that it, is a it's fancy like, diatom. It's almost like it's got a beard down here. Yeah. Right? And then there's the mustache. Oh, that's very nice. It looks a little bit like, um, who's the lumberjack from the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? He had a big jolly mustache and then a beard like that, right? And a very wide face. It was like Yukon uh, somebody, Cornelius. Yeah, Yukon Cornelius. Looks a little like Yukon Cornelius. Welcome in, Raiders. This is uh, Diatom's Attack. And I'm Diatom's Attack. But that's Pacific Plankton over there. 
She's at the helm. She's visiting I'm us trying. from uh, from the Pacific. She brought some of her Pacific samples with her, and we're looking at them Pacifically on the They're SEM. Like there, on that side of the screen. Hello from Italy. Ooh. Can All you right. say something in Italian for them? I don't know Italian. Stromboli. <laughs> you can Cornelius. From... Yeah. Uh... All right. Should I um? Should I demustache? We're yeah, gonna, we're good. We're demustaching. I feel like that's been redeemed, redempted. There we go. I'm going back. Was a good. That was a good one, though. It was good. It's, it was. Yeah. Well done. Going out. The least Alaskan name, Cornelius. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds exotic. It does. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go to step five, which is from a creek in Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. And it's going to be a lot less stuff on it. I'm just going to peek over here one more time just to make sure. Are you <laughs> just jumping over there to see what's on it? I'm curious. I okay. want to see. I want to see what's on it. And you can tell them how you collected the sample, Whoa. what the steps were, and how we got the diatoms out of it, and when did you add the alcohol? <laughs> alcohol? Oh, that's what Sarah asked. When do you add the alcohol? Oh, I didn't add alcohol. Um, she, at which point during the collection process did you add the alcohol to yourself? I think maybe she wants to. Know. Oh. <laughs> I didn't add, I did not. Here we go. There we go. It's Nitzia. Probably. Zoom in. I'm going to get something wrong way. There we go. Don't tell them. Don't Just tell them? Just make it seem like you did it on purpose. Ciao. Uh, let's see. Bienvenido. Benito. That means like welcome or something, right? It's not an it's yet. All right. I'm going to go back to zero so I can tell where I am. Oh, greetings to Italy and have a good night. It's late in the EU. Oh. Oh, I think they're saying to them. Okay. Right. I'm going rotation zero because I want it pointing north. That's not Anitzia, is it? It's not Anitzia. That's what I said. Okay. It's not Anitzia. I mean, I thought it was when navicula. I was out. I was way far out. It's just a dirty navicula. It's moving. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> Tilt the world. I know. Not as bad as the other one, but I don't feel like that's dangerous. Transmission electron aberration corrected microscope is a collaborative research project between four U.S. laboratories and two companies designed an application to transmit electron microscopes uh, images with a spatial resolution below 0.5 nanometers. Wow. Roughly half the size of an atom of hydrogen. Yeah, there you go. Getting them some close. Steve Mandel is back. They say hello and welcome to this great Twitch. I think they actually translated the Italian for us. Yeah. There it is. What? You tell me. I think it's cracked. What's up with those pores? I don't know. What would you like to see? I want one that doesn't have clay on it. Okay. I think it's just a navicular probably just an avicula with clay on it. You posted it in Italian and that's the translation. Okay, good. Okay. So tell them where you got this sample and I'm going to go check on my samples. Okay. Your samples. These samples. Our samples. <laughs> From the hot plate. We have samples. That okay. uh, Mallory has been, the demon's blood needs to be checked upon. Okay. Well, if there's a crisis, good let news, me know. Everyone. Oh, there won't be. You can um, pop into chat. Ooh, there's a piece. Um, so I collected um, this particular sample from a creek in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan um, in Limestone Township. And uh, I parked on the side of the road and uh, down an embankment, grabbed a rock, and I had my handy dandy toothbrush with me and um, I took a nice scrub the toothbrush on the rock and I'm not looking at Chuck because he's got his computer turned sideways. There we go. 
Um. Yay. No, it wasn't a navicula. It doesn't look like a navicula? Hmm, we'll see what it is. See if we can find another one. You are like 10 years old. Where are the new toys? Well, this is a new toy for me. Um, so, scrubbed it with a toothbrush, uh, got it off the toothbrush into a, um, a little vial, and uh, brought it with me back here, at which point it was, um, it was uh, boiled in acid. And then um, here it is, now live on the SEM. And we're just looking at it. Oh, it's like Clotella. I have to take a picture. I don't usually see freshwater ones. Get right up in there. Um, so these are these are freshwater diatoms. These are the sweetwater diatoms that I don't I don't get to see because I look at um, I look at marine stuff. Let's see. We'll go closer, and I see if I can focus it better. See here. Mm, right about there. Uh, brought it back here, boiled it in acid, um, let it cool, um, rinsed it in um, rope pure water, and then. Um, after it was uh, rinsed a number of times to make sure all the acid was out. Then it got um, placed onto a stub. And um, now we can look at it here. Let's see. Oh, we got another follow. Thank you. All right. Uh, get it mostly to the center. Zoom in. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go beam intensity seven. I'm gonna talk myself through these steps because I wanna make sure I do it right. Speed seven. Phaser set to stun. And I'm just gonna double check the focus here to make sure I didn't accidentally. No, I think I'm good. All right, uh, auto brightness. And then I'm going to take a picture and I can go back to chat. Intense. It's very cool. I'm very excited. This whole experience has been amazing. Um, learned so much. Yeah, just so much. So happy to see your plankton pals together in person. I know, Studio Cornix, we have to get together next time you come south. All right, here's a picture, and it should be able to take nice and gently. Hey, two jukes, welcome. All right, it's actually really chilly here in the um, SEM lab, and I was just thinking of getting a. Um, sweatshirt on but there's not that much longer I don't have that much more time because um, gotta get pizza but you know, at least we had lunch today yeah you'll be in the Bay Area this winter yes well you have to let me know when and um, we well, don't have to let me know when it would be wonderful if you let me know when and um, you know we can meet up outside I'm fully vaccinated and uh, I don't tend to go to any like large public gatherings or anything so um, it's uh, I've been extra careful I double mask when I travel I even have stoggles which are like goggle glasses so because um, I like the air blowing on me in the airplane and I think it's I think it's good so this is a cyclotella yay we should have a diatom picnic that would be the coolest I can make sandwiches in the shape of diatoms. Um, cucumber sandwiches in the shapes of diatoms. If you like cucumbers. And, um, and, and then, you know, we could have, uh, 
we could have algae cocktails and, and diatom sandwiches. If I'm vaccinated, why am I still using the mask? Um, because um, I could still potentially contract coronavirus, even though the risk is small. I'm traveling in areas where the vaccination rate is really low. And I have people in my um, close family who are at higher risk of serious complications if they get sick. So because of that, I am being extra careful when I'm in areas where I don't know that the people around me are vaccinated or not. And that's a personal choice. But um, yeah, it's important to me because I love the people who are close to me and I want to make sure that, I mean, a mask is no big deal for me to put on my face when I'm out. And I figure I will err on the side of caution for the moment until the rest of the population catches up vaccination wise. But that's me. So, ooh, let's see. You'll get a smoky with, um, which are diatom like, oh yes. And sugar cookies with a diatom texture on them. Oh yes. All right, I have to label this. It's the, the talking and the typing at the same time here, hold on. This is, there we go, successfully saved. I like that. I like, oops, I have to close the picture before I start navigating. I do. Uh, there we go. Now I can close the picture. I can speed back to four, beam intensity 10. And um, can zoom out a little. Who's that little one there? I've never seen any of these. I've never seen anything from this location before. So they're all new. Um, they're all new to me. They're all new and cute. Let's see. Although this UI drives you nuts, yeah. I um, I have to talk myself through things. Usually I talk to myself when I work on things. Is that a diatom? Let's see, it's a piece of a diatom. I wasn't even sure there'd be anything in the sample. And look, there's stuff. What's happening? Yeah, anything good? Oh, um. You found yes. a planethidium or something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Studio Cornex is going to come to the Bay Area in the winter, oh, and we're going to have a diet. SEM? We're going to have a diatom picnic. Oh, a picnic. Yeah, I'm going to make I'm going to make cucumber sandwiches because they'll be like diatom sandwiches with a round. And we'll have cucumber algae sandwiches. Drinks. Yeah. Wow, this yeah. is a real picnic. Yeah. Wow. And if there's any um, edible flowers, we can add flowers to them. So Sugar that's always fun. with diatom texture on them. Yeah, see? Doesn't that sound good? It sounds familiar. Okay. Oh, I took a picture of a cyclotella. Okay. Striata, that one? In the freshwater? Oh, there's a cyclotella in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll be on the pictures. I'll just have to wait, I guess. I can go back and show you here. It's over here. It's this way. I remembered which direction. Uh, there if it you're is. vaccinated, why are you still using the mask? Oh, yeah, oh. We, I did that. You I told, told them. them. I okay. told them. Yeah. I have people in my family I love, and they're high risk, and until the people around me are suitably vaccinated. Only 29% of the county that I live in here. Um, it. Yeah, it's a uh, Meninginiana. Say that again. Meninginian. It's like what's Menin all a Meninginian. Men okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Meninginian. Okay, slowly. Meninginian. Meninginian. Okay, see, now I can do it. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. I don't know how many times I said it to Mary, and she just goes, nin 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 like that when she says it. Every time. Nin 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 nin. I'm like, 
Men again, Iena. Men again, Iena. Nice. Uh, scientific <laughs> equipment with databases tend to have very difficult UI with super tiny text. You think they make it easier for scientists? They're always so distracted thinking about other things, right? Uh, Studio says I'll make crescent rolls too with cream cheese and salmon. Mm. I might skip the salmon. I'm not a big she salmon says, Those person. are like navicula. This is something you were looking at, I guess. I'm just trying to catch up. It's okay. Let's see if there's any. Fully vaccinated people can transmit COVID, right? If it's because it has a high viral load, basically you can transmit it to people who aren't vaccinated, which is also why I'm wearing a mask. Because I have a daughter who's not old enough to be vaccinated, and that means I could potentially bring it home to her, and then she takes it to all the kids in her school, and then everybody gets has to get sent home. And that's no they fun. They transmit it to their parents who probably aren't vaccinated because they live in my county. So it's a responsible thing to do as a society, as a person of this society, even though it's unlikely to have any impact on me. Because you're not doing it for you. You're doing it for the people you love. That's right. I'm asking for people I don't even know. Well, that too, but... I don't love them at all. No? <laughs> I don't even like them. Okie dokie. It's covered in clay. Those are interesting little rings. Learning is a complicated word. I find it easier to learn the last syllables first and then work my way forward in the word. So what's that? I don't know either. Spaghettios? <laughs> I got spaghettios in my sample. Good to know. If you ever get hungry on a microscopic level. I think it's also respectful for people who are forced to wear masks. You know, like if you go out to a restaurant and there's people there, they're all forced to wear a mask and I feel like it makes them feel more comfortable wearing it. Cockneys. It is a cockneys. It is ridiculous, I believe. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. It looks like a bell pepper slices. Oh, the other one. The other one, one, yeah. Obviously. It did a little, didn't it? What does this look like to you? A lemon. Oh, yeah. I Ish. see that. I kind of like a lemon. I see the lemon. In inverse lemon. Headshot says specialist said those were twist twister fries. Who makes twister fries? Oh. I don't know. Is that a thing? Yeah. Like you go out to eat a no, you want twister, twister fries? fries, yeah. Twister fries? Well, I don't know. Twister or twisty. Curly fries? Curly fries? I don't know. Arby's has curly fries. Okay. I've never heard of twister fries. I don't eat at Arby's. I don't know what they have. I haven't eaten at Arby's in a long time, but I know they have curly fries. They don't call them twister fries, though. Curly fries, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see, that shape would make such a lovely ceramic bowl. You know, I have a friend who's here on campus who is a uh, came in the same time I did, who does ceramic art, and she makes like um, you know these fancy bowls and stuff. And really, I should have been partnered with her to like make some diatom sort of sculptures into her artwork because I feel like there's a lot there. But um, instead, I just looked at her stuff and was like, oh, this is cool. And then hoarded all my diatoms to myself. Are you a diatom hoarder? <laughs> <laughs> all the little diatoms, they're all mine. Mine. At the fair. Oh, they call them twister fries at the fair? Anna says, my company announced today that vaccination will be mandatory for all employees, and they're so happy. Um, our university is going to be forcing everyone to attend in the spring only the vaccinated people will be able to attend. And I think we're actually the last big university in Indiana to make that requirement. So, I mean, I'm just gonna big university because we're not that big, but- Big um, enough. Yeah, of the larger state-sponsored schools, not the little community schools. Mm. So, um, I feel like some students are gonna 
it's going to take that for them to actually like do it because they just don't see it as like something that they're interested in otherwise. Yeah. I mean, so I had to get all my shots before I could go to kindergarten, kind of like a puppy. Right. I did. Right. That was just the way it was. I didn't get, nobody said, oh, do you really want to have your chicken, not chicken pox, they didn't have that back then. Measles, mumps, rubella, uh, diphtheria, tetanus, um, petrusis, like the whooping cough one. I think I had, I mean, it was like. There was a lot. There was a lot. And you get booster shots in like seventh or eighth grade. Yep. It's not, I don't know why people make such a big stink about it. Why is it so dark? Why is it dark? Yeah it's dark um, I did the auto brightness because there's one really bright spot up at the top oh here balances on that so what I would do what would you do make a box okay and stretch it out so it covers most of the diatom but doesn't cover that edge you almost got it almost the other butt <laughs> and inside the box there you go look at there like that like that and then auto brightness that yes and then hit auto brightness wait you're, you're i uh, dragged something you did shoot just to drag the box a little bit down there you go there you go and then auto brightness that okay nice and it will balance it without that bright edge on it and then it should make all of those things stand out and it'll make your bright edge super bright but nobody cares because it's Cause just an edge it's already bright yeah okay Tips and tricks. Um, let's see. Now I want funnel oh. cake. So, oh, hey, how were the boiling acid but fine. jars? It's fine. I was actually talking to Eleanor more than I was in there doing anything else. Uh, they've only been referred to as twistos here in France. Oh, okay. Twister fries are also apparently the McDonald's take on curly fries. What? McDonald's has curly fries? Did it balance? Does it look a little bit better? It does look a little bit better. It's still pretty dark. But it is still pretty dark. Photoshop. Really? Yes. That's where I'm going with that? Okay. Actually, today is a very good day in general. It's a good uh, day. The book I was waiting for... <gasps> That's right, Anna! ...is on my phone. The Diatom Web Academy presentation was super interesting. And oh, what was it? spoke, emailed with a few people, like, diatoms were interesting. I didn't get to see the Diatom Web Academy because I was out in a canoe collecting a core at the time. Uh, let's see. And you are streaming together. Yeah, that's nice, right? We should have streamed us canoeing, but I felt like it could have ended tragically. Uh, For the phone. Polio. Good For the point. Uh, polio also. Yep, Do that's that. another vaccine. Yeah. Although we don't actually get polio in the U.S. unless you're leaving the U.S. No. They stopped giving it? We haven't had polio vaccine here for a long time. My son, well, I suppose now he's like 17-ish, so he had polio vaccine. I didn't get polio vaccinated until I went to Africa. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. Constababble. Constababble's here. She's in the chat. Constababble. Hey, Constababble, how's it going? We're here together. We and are. And Del's here in the chat. And... Uh, we could just get our panel back together and just crack open the Discord. It'd be fun. Um, yeah, okay. we're both the uh, we're both streaming together. We met halfway in between, and I brought the SCM with me. No. No. Oh. Well, then I guess Pacific Plankton must have came to my lab. Yep. Uh, I traveled. Over a thousand miles to get here. <laughs> no way I'm dying like a middle ages peasant of some preventable disease. <laughs> I know, right? Don't mince words, studio. Tell us how you feel about it. Uh, Evelyn aced her science test. Good to know, Del. Yay. Well, of course she would. All right. Oh, they won't actually share the... Um, the talk they won't post the talk until the research is published well i mean oh. i have stuff i presented that i still haven't published and i didn't sh- uh, tell them they had to hide the link who's going to steal your research come on i don't know people are they crazy don't know where my there. core was collected they don't have oh. any of my samples they can't even you know like you could try i'm not going to hit that button again all right here we go <laughs> 
I'm taking all this time on this one diet. I'm like, it's really? pretty. It's a cockanese. I know, but it's from like a totally new place for me. It's true. Uh, let's see. Half SEM will travel. Yeah. <laughs> put the huge machine on a truck. Actually, if I had like a semi truck and I put the SEM in it. See, now here's what we could do, right? Traveling SEM show. We could have, we could have. And I could do like a food truck out the back of it as well. Plankton, right? And diatoms. Mm-hmm. Right? And we could have some saltwater tanks and we could take it around the country. On tour? On tour. But your family would Mexico. have to eat Hot Pockets for like a month. <laughs> They'd miss me. They would. Yeah, they would. But it would still be fun. Uh, Anna says, you also don't have tuberculosis vaccine here in the U.S. Well, no, you do that's have true. tuberculosis. Yep. It's just not yet in the social groups that can do anything about it. Well, yeah. And the, where's... Yeah, you're right. Johnston Bevel says it sounds like one of the. It sounds like the best touring show. <laughs> Eighteen wheels of micro. Except here's the thing: we would have to. It would have <laughs> to like all of the wheels on the truck diatom. Yes. The hubcaps. So, but it would have to be like run on on like bio fossil fuels, bio uh, no, biodiesel, no. biodiesel and solar. So it would be like a hybrid, um, like a hybrid solar truck. We don't want to add to the carbon footprint by traveling around. No, no. Especially if it was al- algal biodiesel, we could grow our own algae. We could algae grow our own algae. We can't move the truck because we, have, we don't have enough <laughs> algae culture. Like yet. the the pop up, yeah, that'd be funny. You need rims, of course. You need rims. We have to have rim feelers. <laughs> we have to have the curb feelers out there. Uh, press family into services, science explainers, and roadies. That's a good idea. It might work better for your family than mine. I always wanted to be a truck driver. Really? I'm, I can drive for really long distances without getting tired. Hmm. Like really long distances, like 18 hours in a row. Wow. Barely stopping. You know, I don't eat most of the time, so it's just like... Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom sometimes I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I'm driving and I see an exit and I'll be like, I could probably still make it to the next one. 80 miles later, I'm like, mm, I could probably still make it to the next one. Good to know. Try Truck Simulator. Is that a game? I bet it is. They simulate everything now. Gas That's stations. That's the most Midwest flex ever. Yeah. <laughs> Except for actually most of my driving skills were from when I lived in Nebraska and then drove westward because there's no place to stop going westward. And uh, there's long distances of the country that you have to cover sometimes. So it's an American flex, yeah. We have a big country. Uh, I used to drive six hours. When I started, I was tired. And I would be like, it's only a six hour drive. I did drive from DC to my parents' house because I lived in DC and my parents lived in Ohio. And I would drive, that's a six hour drive. And I would, I would start, it would be like the end of my work day. I'd been working all day long and didn't get good sleep. And I'd still be like, eh, it's only a six hour drive. It's only like, you know, driving across 80% of Europe. <laughs> What'd you find us? I don't know. A little potato. <laughs> it does look like a potato, doesn't it? <laughs> Three hours is not even across my state. Exactly. You have to cut through West Virginia, yeah. It's important you take the right path. It's a Unosha. Look at that. No? No? It's not a Unosha. No, it's a, um, it's a, uh, in Cinema. No? Doesn't it have the little, hold on. Uh, me auto. Forer and Sinema. I can't see the midsection. It's distor- It's distorted. It is distorted. So I thought it was a Enosha. I thought that was the Raithi coming up Here. onto the valve there, but I don't know what that I is. I don't think it is. I think the Raithi are... This is junk. One end of it's busted up. It's just busted up. I think it's in Sinema. I think you're right. It's too flat. 
So it's been almost three hours of streaming. Is I it know. pizza time? We've it's... got to leave around seven. So it takes about 15 minutes for the pizza. And it's going to take us about 15 minutes to get shut down and go to the pizza. So I feel like we have about 25 it's minutes a or a half face. hour. Yeah, that's a frowning face. That's just some sort of weird little insignia. And it's lopsided. The stride go all the way across, I think, the center. For real, do y'all ever eat? You know what? I, I don't know if I complain about this on stream, but like when I'm streaming and I'm on the SEM and Pacific Plankton is in my channel, she's always like, why aren't you eating? And then I'm here and I'm like, you know, we're streaming. Do you want to stop and get something to eat or should we just get off of the SEM and go get something to eat? And she's like, I'm not hungry. I'm not that hungry. I'm only here I'm for not, a really short time. To, stop, get, to get off the SEM. I've got such a short visit. It just, it's like. It looks like the head of a xenomorph. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is kind of like nose down. It does look a little bit like an alien's head. Wait, you didn't even get to the stub with the testate amoeba on it yet. No, we should do that now, huh? Probably. Okay. Instead of looking at little deformed ensinemas. I know, but they're. They're my deformed. Oh, look, that's planethidium. That is planethidium. Ha! Ha! <laughs> ha! Here, just so people can see. I don't even see. need to have a job around here. Yes, you I'm do. Being replaced by you. No, 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 no. You see? run the SEM, you can identify the diatoms. Not all of them. You can stream. Not the way you can. <laughs> Self deprecating. All right, let's see. We can zoom in, speed it up a little. Definitely planetarium. You know what that structure is called, right? What's it called? Holtizen. That's what it's called. <laughs> okay. Uh... We're gonna do monorephids this week. And diatom taxonomy. Oh, I'll be home for the lecture. Oh. Yeah. You can hear me say hoop poison again. I can. It's always fun. It's covered with clay. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, um. Let's throw this sample in the trash and move on. Or maybe not the trash. Let's see. Tanglewood. Let's look at the Tanglewood stuff. This We're... is a sample from the place where... <gasps> look at that. Yeah. Like, boom. You know what that is? It's an alien. No. It's fragilaria. Yes, species? Oh, no, I don't know the species. I guess I still have a job. You do. That is fragilaria. Crotonensis. Crotonensis. That was going to be my first guess. I mean, it's everybody's first guess. All right. I'm going to take a picture. This sample wasn't processed at all, and so it has a bunch of organic y things that are still present in it. I wasn't here. Did you tell Sarah how we separate the diatoms from our samples? Did you ever do that? Did I tell her how we separate? We boil them in acid and we rinse them and then we you put them on that? a hot plate. Yeah, I okay. did that. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I went through that. I don't remember if Sarah was here. Okay. Maybe. I think so. Does Sarah remember? I don't know. I don't know if she's still here. Well, there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So the sample is just like uh, we collected some plankton. I don't know if this sounds familiar, in a plankton net. And then uh, we just took it and stuck it right on the stub. So like the first stuff we looked at was from the Pacific Ocean. And we just took it and stuck it on a stub and dried it. And that's what we did with this. Um, so this is Midwest plankton. Actually, let's see. Midwestern plankton. Um, but it also means there's a bunch of zooplankton in this stub on the surface here. And some uh, really cool things, like we found some testate amoeba uh, tests, the skeletons of testate amoeba. I zoomed in too much. A few diatoms, but it was mostly zooplankton. Midwestern plankton. Is it like, is it like, like crab stick? Crab stick? What is crab stick? Um, fragilaria. 
And you have a command. It'll take them to the... Proton Insys. It'll take them to the place. This. I like this kind of zoomed in. Frangillaria. Boom. 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 Just like that. We did it. Oh, the synthetic crab. Oh, like a crab stick. They do look a little bit like crab sticks, I guess. Hmm. Okay. It reminds them of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have like a zipper-like set of spines that connect them together only in the middle. And then there's a gap between them. So they look like these are all in the It just looked kind of like a neat pattern. Oh, what's happening? We got raided? We got raided. Seven viewers from science. science. Oh, hi, science. How's things going? It's an ant raid. <laughs> we got, uh, I had uh, insects, some insects on the SEM yesterday. I caught um, a mosquito, but it, it looks a little squished. You squished the mosquito. I didn't squish it. What it looks a little it? squished. Did you catch it and then you just let it die inside that container? Well, it was going to bite me, so yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if you, like, captured it. You were going to oh, catch it with the tweezers or I something. Didn't, you and... didn't give me any forceps. I... You don't travel with forceps? No, I don't, actually. Um, welcome in, Ant uh, Raiders. Uh, welcome to the spinning nah, electron take microscope. It. Changed my mind. Zoom we out. looked at live leaf cutter ants on your stream. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I think uh, Zoikia was supposed to send me some ants so we can put them on the scanning electron microscope, and then we were going to have him come on and talk about ants one of these times. Greg, um, I think you were here when we were talking about that science. Pull up a chair. Um, SEM on leaf cutters is pretty epic. Oh yeah, I bet it is. All right. And. Um, so you can see what we're looking news, at here is everyone. some plankton samples that uh, Pacific and I collected from the Midwest. <gasps> it is. You found a dino, didn't you? <laughs> this is like all we've seen since she got here is dinoflagellates somehow. Came, no, not all. Well, we've seen more dinoflagellates than we've seen previously. But that's because there were more in the sample. This one was one that we just collected, though. Yeah. I so don't know that I have any freshwater dinoflagellates that we've even seen anywhere. Yeah. Well, now we do. Wrong way. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them. It's okay. Oh, and it's one that's got really pretty ornate plates. It does. Look at that. Fecal plates with a T. With a TH. Ooh. And there's some dinobrian in the background. There is. Which are chrysophytes. These. Golden algae. Yeah. No brown. Golden brown algae. Golden brown? Whatever. Look at that texture. Mm -hmm. It's reticulate. That's what we call that. The science nerds. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little more and make sure I get it focused really well. <laughs> so judgy. <laughs> um, you can send me some ants too. Oh, that'd be great. You see a huge Daphnia. Yeah, there's some giant Daphnia and some Bosmina and some Copepods. And uh, we saw something that looked like a Podon in there, but... It's not, but it looked like it. She says it's not, so I mean... No, because it's a freshwater one. Podon or... There's a freshwater Podon. But it's not Podon. It's, it's something not. else. Are you sure? No. Okay. Because it's freshwater. Oh, okay. I do not profess to know freshwater stuff. It looks like a little mushroom. I think it looks like, um, Too far. uh, what are the turtles on Mario that he kicks around? It looks like one of those turtle shells from the Koopa. It's a Koopa shell. If Koopas were really tiny. Look at turtle shell, yeah. Uh, some guy named V, yeah, we're looking at some plankton. This is a dinoflagellate. Yep. They have that name because they have a flagella. Actually, they usually have two they flagella. They usually have two. One that wraps around the cingulum, which is this kind of central, like... Furrow? It's like a belt-shaped space. It's a furrow? And then they have one that, um, that comes down from the sulcus, which is um, probably on the bottom side somewhere that's turned away from us. All right. So, beam intensity, seven. 
and speed seven. My favorite part about training people on the scanning electron right microscope now. is I don't have to tell them what to do after a while. They just do it. And sometimes they say it out loud. Yeah. Uh, do you ever nickname these strange life forms that have very long Latin names? Um, most of them don't have common names because they're microscopic, and we have a huge bias towards larger things. We do. And so we don't give things names like leafcutter ant. Mm. Uh, we don't have a name for this. It's just a uh, scientific name. And yeah. a lot of the, even at larger group levels, don't even have names. Like if I say chrysophyte, there's no other name for chrysophyte. I can't call it like a water flea or like, I mean, even those terminology that we use. Yeah. It doesn't have even anything like that. It's only chrysophyte. Like there's no other name for it because it's so small, only like, you know, nerds with microscopes see it. Nerds? So, yeah. With microscopes. Yeah. <laughs> and scientists. Scientists are just nerds. Okay. I mean, they're like super nerds. Okay. You're acting like you don't believe me. Name me a scientist who's not a nerd. Okay. So? I'm, well, I'm not good at naming scientists in general. Jocks with microscopes, exactly. You know any jocks with microscopes? <laughs> Actually, there might be some jocks with microscopes. No, no, there's not. There aren't? You don't hear about like basketball players that got an SEM in their basement or a bank of SEMs in their bank basement. No, but they might have a microscope. No, they don't. No? No. You have to do some outreach. Uh, no, I just want them to sponsor me to have their things. I don't want them to have them. No, but wouldn't it be, I mean, it would be interesting, like, would it bring microscopes to sporting games? Hey, Joseph Radio Joe is here. Hey, Radio Joe. Um, you know, I still don't have, I don't think I have his own shout out for him. And every oh, time he comes in, I just shout, shout out Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> in like some rude way. Like, Joe's not Joe, but he's just Hannah in proxy. Well, Joe doesn't stream independently. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does? Yeah, he started oh, streaming on his own, and sometimes Hannah's on his stream. Oh, when... And he plays his see, own guitar. Now, I'm not following. I need to follow. He plays... Uh, you need to follow him. I need to follow him. Yeah. But I can't, because you don't have a shout-out thingy for him. Well, you? I can just shout-out him the old-school way. Oh, I you could. I suppose I don't have to have one for everybody. I just did Joseph Radio Joe like this. You know, like that. And for some reason, um, just like that. What the what the heck? What the heck? Don't, do I have like a babble command? Why don't I have one for Consta babble? I don't know. Why not? What the heck, Consta babble? It's oh. I think she stopped streaming for a long time. Oh, and then she took a break. She took a break, and then if you're not following Consta babble, you need to follow. We can't Consta be friends, babble. okay? Well. That's the way it is. Okay. You need to follow Consta babble. You need to follow Dell. Mm -hmm. And you better be following, uh, hey, I'm going to give a shout out to this specific plankton person who's next to me. If you don't follow them, we can't be friends. So that's it. Uh, those people you have to follow. Contingency. Yeah. That's the first question. For if I'm trying to figure out if I can be friends oh, really? with somebody or not. Yeah. It's like oh. this and then like how do you eat cheese, string cheese, right? You come at that stuff sideways, How you're a monster. What? We can't be friends. How do we what? <laughs> Eat string cheese. <laughs> so you lost me there. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know that was one of the questions. <laughs> I was just throwing that in. Because I've had, I've had the cheese curd. No, no. You know what string cheese is. I know what string like cheese you is. Kids, you eat it with a string. With a string. You pull the string. Pull you pull yeah. it apart. Yeah. It's like a mozzarella. You don't just like eat it sideways. String cheese, you can eat it any way you want. You can take a chomp off of it, but you don't eat it like from the middle out, right? <laughs> is this like the burrito thing? There's a burrito thing? Where you're eating you can't the burrito, eat a burrito from, from the middle. middle. No, you can't do that. You have to pick it up. It's end. food, and if it's yours, you could actually eat it any way you like. Eat it how you like, but just this doesn't chew with your mouth closed. Friends. That's just, what I'm going to say. Just chew with your mouth closed. You can closed, do what you like, fine. there's consequences. <laughs> There you go. Justin for you, Jonas, what's up? He followed Consta Babble. Woo! All right. Uh, let's see. Steve Mandel's got work for you. He says, I hope you will give a talk on the SEM shots <laughs> and your experience there while working with the famous Dr. Stone. Is wow. there another Dr. Stone you've been working with? Because on she's only side. been working with the non-famous one. I've been, I've, I'm, you know, I collect Dr. Stones. <laughs> <laughs> There's one in every state. Well, 
I feel like at least I'm the Indiana one. You are definitely the Indiana Stone. Uh, Justin Fradio Joe says, I peeked in yesterday, he had a ton of meetings, and it looked like we were checking out crickets and such. What were we looking at today? Uh, crickets and such. No, no today crickets Today we're looking today. at plankton that so. uh, was collected from, this was collected from a lake where um, Pacific Plankton's Airbnb is, a private see. property that she's um, been staying while she's here. And today we went there and uh, we collected a core. Yeah. My from the lake. First one ever. It was um, so cool. And we did it in a canoe, which is probably the most dangerous way you could collect a core. It was breezy. I was with a professional. Right. Well, you know, and also I feel like you're an experienced canoeer. So I probably wouldn't try this with somebody who didn't know how to canoe. <laughs> More of a kayaker than a canoeer, but okay. It doesn't matter. Kayaks are easier to tip over than canoes. So I feel like, you know, like kayaks are built to go upside down, whereas a canoe is not. But I found you. Um, you did. This is some testate amoeba. Mm-hmm. The uh, tests of the testate amoeba. Would you like a picture of these three? It's a little cluster. Three? Absolutely. What are they making their skeletons out of, by the way? Should we go closer and look? Yeah. I want to know. <laughs> Inquiring minds. They okay. make their they make their skeletons by agglutinating them to their surface, and gluing them to their surface. Probably like tintinids. Like tintinids, and um, and then they live in the hole. They come out the hole at the bottom. There, it's a little sort of. These ones have a square shape. It's actually kind of cool with the. Triangle. What the heck? Lorgana's raiding us. Lorgana. No um, snakes today. We're not looking at snakes. No so snakes yesterday today. we were looking at snake skins, and uh, we had some. Hornets and some a cricket, a, a hornet, cricket. a wasp. Uh, we had a bumblebee we never showed anybody. Mm -mm. And um, today we're looking at, so this is just one of many samples that are on the SEM. We also have uh, four samples from San Francisco Bay. It's just one sample that we split into four because I feel like Pacific wanted to find things. I was having so much fun because there was stuff I didn't expect that was there. We found a bunch of dinoflagellates. And then we found a... Did you so, take a picture of the turtle shell one? The turtle shell one that we just saw? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. I'm over here and... I got you. Think about what people are talking about. So, uh, look what so it's made what out of. At. It's dirt. It's made out of dirt. It's made out of silt. Silt grains. But there's no diatoms in there. Or... Huh? I'm like... Maybe some. Fragments of diatoms. Let's see. Little pieces. Um... Digital, sea, Digital Seahorse says, what do you say? What if I eat a peanut butter cup from the center outward? No, we can't be friends. You've got very particular like you know, friend uh, requirements. Like gallstones. My sister, just as a note, my older sister eats her M&Ms by sorting them into the colors mm -hmm. and then um, eating them so they have an even number of colors and then taking one from each color as she eats them. That's how she eats M&M's. And the colors taste different? No, of course not. Not in M&M's. I don't think there's any diatoms on this. I saw some... Oh, not in there. No, yeah. I, thought, as I saw diatoms when we started. Oh, no, no. In the sample, yes. Yeah, right. I just meant um, on, on the testate amoeba Gl test. Lurgana's here, and I didn't give her a shout-out, because I'm, I'm a terrible self-moderator. I'm good when I'm moderating other people's channels. Yeah. And um, Very good. You should also be following Gorgana, unless you don't like really gross stuff. And then you should only be partially following Gorgana when she shows stuff that's not quite as gory. But mm -hmm. uh, she does like taxidermy and stuff. She reads books at people. Uh, sometimes she does painting. And, um, and she sometimes, sometimes you can make her exercise. I don't know if that went away, but she did a thing where you could like roll dice and then she would have to do some exercise that that got rolled. You can't make that? me do anything in the channel except for put stuff in the SEM, I guess. How about that? And put a mustache on things. You like that? It looks nice. You know, there's uh, this thing in photography where they take pictures of things in threes, and you got something in threes. It would have been nice if oh. one of them was like at us, one of them I was know. sideways, and one of them was the other way. Do I want to save it? No. What document? What are you trying to save? I did an auto brightness it. Oh, okay. And I wanted to do that because it's really light, and I figured right. it'd probably be a good idea. You want the contrast here. It should look good. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it keeps moving. It's the oh worst. no. 
They'll show up even if there aren't snakes. Oh, okay, good. Gotta get that two-for-one scientist deal while it's still available. <laughs> yep. Limited time only. Uh, duck, 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 goose wants to know if my sister is single. No, she's married and has four kids. And she's older than me, so... I have a younger sister, she's married and has two kids. So... I don't have any sisters to sell you, if we were gonna barter. No sisters for sale? No. Uh, how to eat M&M's. Open up the bag, tip it into the mouth. I'm fine with how she eats the M&M's. I'm just pointing it out because people are talking about how they eat candy. That's how I'm my sister eats them. I'm not a big fan of M&M's. I will eat M&M's if they're not the standard kind. If they're like peanut M&M's, I'll eat them. Or if they're like the mint ones or like the mm. pretzel ones. they got to have something else in them. Yeah. And especially if it's the dark chocolate kind because oh, I don't like milk chocolate. Dark chocolate's the best. See? It's dark chocolate or get out. That's See now, I like the salty dark chocolate. That's also fine. I like all kinds of dark chocolate. I'm not a big fan of like, gotta have M&M's, but Sylvie they're eats just, M&M's. They're and really if I'm sweet. forced to eat them, I want the dark chocolate and then it's gotta have something in it usually. M&M's are just like a sugar delivery device and oh, they're not definitely. really a f flavor experience in my opinion. Definitely. So. That's why they gotta have something else in them. I see. Have you had the pretzel ones? Yeah, they're good. I like the pretzel ones, and there's ones that are mint, and there's ones that have almonds in them, and mint. there's ones that, yeah. They really went any. nuts recently with the really? M&M's. If you go look, there's like... They're like, people aren't buying M&M's anymore. We need to throw stuff in it. Well, people, maybe they just don't like trashy milk chocolate, and... It's entirely possible. They wanted to hit that other market. The gourmet market? Yeah. Are they, even their dark chocolate's not dark enough for it's me. It's not really dark. But it's better. I like the dark chocolate that's almost bitter. Yeah. Like, it's very you lightly sweet. You want baking sweet. chocolate's what you're talking I want, about. I want, like, one step, like, one small step sweeter than baking chocolate. Just a tiny bit with a little bit of salt. Sarah says the book reading happened today and the exercise. Ooh. See, I know what happens on Glorgana's channel because I usually watch it. I usually tune in and chat with her. A ton of desk, been desk exercises. Really busy, though. She had to do lunges. Ooh. I'm not doing lunges for any of you people. <laughs> uh, if an Olicosira looks like Musazensis but has no separation spines, what is it? If a what? Say it again. Ooh, that's a hard one. If a what? If it looks like Musazensis but it has no separation spines. Musazensis. See, see, now, I don't know what Musazensis looks like. Well, it looks a little bit like granulata, but it's shorter and squatter. Okay. Like hockey puckish, almost. Not quite hockey puckish. Okay. It's something to do with the height to width ratio and the spine lengths, number of spines per whatever. I have to look it up. I don't think it was a question for you. I know, but I'm still curious. Uh, Shadow Fex no says, I like peanut M&Ms. Digital, uh, digital D Seahorse says, pretzel M&Ms with a question mark. Because uh, they hadn't heard that There's they have one those. pointing sideways so you can just see here. Yeah. We have a hint of it. It's nice. Um, did we just get raided again? Oh my goodness. Geo Jim's raiding with a party of four. Geo Jim, welcome. We're getting rock raided. <laughs> We're being rock raided by geology people. Hey. hey. Uh, Look at all the rocks on my screen. Three. Uh, They're rocking. You rocked us. We will rock you is what you should make your stream. It's not it's SF great call. Bay. Welcome in, Geo Jim. And Tropical Geek. Uh, guess who's here with me today, Tropical Geek? Guess it's not Mallory. It's not Mallory. This ain't Mallory. Uh, let's see. We had so many raids today. It's been kind of crazy. See, you need um, you need scrolling um, credits. I've never seen those in Canada. Oh, maybe we don't sell them to Canada. Maybe we don't give you guys the good M&Ms. We just hoard the better ones here. Headshot Special says 85% dark is the best. That's that's pretty dark. That's a throwdown right there. They're ready to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't fight about chocolate. Right. Actually, Why fight? I don't fight about much. Uh, Tropical Geek says, how's it going, guys? It's going. And then they said, oh, 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 oh like that. And then they recognize Just like you from that. your voice. Just like that. Oh, 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 oh. Just oh, like oh. that. I like that. Okay. All right, let's find one that's pointing up. Constant Mallory says, I can't believe it's not Mallory. Aww. <laughs> Did not recognize you with no masks, but you recognized our voice. 
Yeah, seventy percent or higher is what Digital Seahorse claims is the cutoff. The the chocolate boundary. Suitable chocolate boundary. Suitable chocolate boundary. I figure like for me just the darker it gets the better it gets. It doesn't mm. matter to me like what the limit is. Well, there is there is a a point of ooh, that's a neat dino on its side. You got another dino. There's like there's been like three or four of them. Why do we keep finding them all of a sudden? It's just dino day. Copa oh wait. Pod. Wait. Look, there's a big ghost one, of a copepod. Is that one pointing up enough for you? Let's see. It's three quarters up. Let's see if it's how it looks or if it's covered with too much junk. Hmm, it's kind of covered with junk. <laughs> Headshot says, I propose we fight about these percentages. <laughs> well, you can fight yourself. Yeah, that was meant to sound like I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah, I got that. I got it. How is this delicious conglomerate of science minds is happening? How is it happening? Well, I just sat around and did my normal thing, and that's how it happened. No. I you, didn't do anything different. You did. Here I am. You said, I said, oh, what an amazing microscope. Oh, my gosh, what cool tools you have. How spectacular. And so he said, well, send me your stuff. I'll put it on it. And then, and then you said, why don't you come and use them here? Yeah. And guess you can what? Just, you can just... I did. Come join me here in the lab. Take a yeah. look at this stuff. And so I did. Here we are. So in the background, all those little um, base-shaped things nice are Denobrian. In the foreground is a testate amoeba. So that is this, uh, the skeleton, if you'd like, of an amoeba that uh, lives in lakes. And these ones are actually in the plankton, which is not uncommon. Um, a lot of the testate amoeba in lakes actually migrate daily like up and down into the light and back into the darkness. How they do this, I have no idea. Hmm. Um, but probably density regulation. Probably. With extra fats or something. Or gases. Yeah. She didn't quite run to the lab tropical. She took a plane and then I a car. flew at hundreds plane, of miles an hour. And then another plane and then another plane and then a car. Hundreds of miles an hour. I traveled yeah. thousands of miles at hundreds of faster miles an than hour. Faster than she could run. Way faster than I could run. Uh, Sarah says, how is driving the SEM going, Pacific? It's wild. It's so fun. It's a little nerve-wracking because they're... Um, here, I'm going to try and focus this, and then I'm going to get a picture, and I can... You missed it. Earlier today, she broke it. I did. I did. And I we was... had to fix it. I know. It was so cool. I got to learn how to fix it, too. We just changed the filament. But... It's a fixing. Don't say just. It wasn't, it, Don't it took almost it. no time at all. Don't minimize it. She goes, we it. should stream this. This would be cool. And I'm like, it takes 10 minutes. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go. It looks empty on the inside. Well, that's because the, uh, the amoeba is dead. He's dead. And then we, then we then put it in a vacuum, and it probably did away with a lot of its organic matter. First we coated it in gold plas plasma. Yeah, these were co coated. Yeah. This was coated in gold. We blinged it. Yeah. But the amoeba is no longer present because the amoebas are soft body organisms, mostly. I zoomed in too far. Unless you want the zoomed in we're super far. Way in. We're looking inside it. I know, practically. Hold on. I feel like I'm inside it. Inside. Do you wanna, do you wanna be this close? I want the whole thing to... No, probably not. It's okay. Zoom out so we can see it. It does look really neat, though. And it's kind of like a little heart-shaped. Yeah. Tropical says it's a dream come true for Pacific. It is. And then, she's, and then they said Pacific is moving to the Diatom lab. No. Where are the other ladies? How are they doing? Mallory was in here earlier. We had her take some of the samples that we were processing and process them. Yes, uh, it was from really a, a great. Core that Pacific Plankton and I collected earlier so, today. In fact, she did so. all the collecting. I just. Uh, it was my first. I'm not sure I did anything. I kind of rode the boat a little. Uh, I think that's all I did, really. No, you, you had I did the, plug. the the steering. I stuck well, the thing under the bottom. You paddled back while I held the core upright. Right. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't hardly do any work. It was just like this. I'm not doing anything. So. Um, doing something. Blanketed in a cozy gold shell. Yes. Uh, Digital Seahorse says it's the Death Star of diatoms. <laughs> it kind of is because they eat diatoms. Yeah. We've seen um, on some of the live streams where we had testate amoeba, 
them just gobble up some diatoms before. And I think it'll be okay. <laughs> Constable says, I want to put caramel in it and eat it. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I don't think people would buy amoeba candies. It would be crunchy. Crunchy on the outside? It's like got rocks in it. Well, it's made out of silt. Yeah, but you could use, um, you could use like a salt and sugar, like, combo to coat the outside, a little salty, a little sweet, fill it with caramel with a slight, um, slight chocolate it shell. It does look like maybe it could be made out of rock candy. Yeah. Like it's a little rock candy skeleton. You could make it out of rock candy. Little rock candy. You could build it out of rock candy pieces. Sounds like a Halloween project. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Boogie says, I have to be in the office now for a few days a week. Okay. Horror. Time. Trauma. How are we doing? Oh, it's pizza time. time. Yeah. There are, are there, wait. Joseph Radio, so Radio Joe says, are there any, many other microscope types besides SEM and light microscope you guys want to use that you haven't <laughs> had a chance to yet? Um, Ooh, that's a question for you. Cause well, I've never used a TEM. Hmm? Um... I have hmm. used an atomic force microscope before. Ooh. Um, I want to use an ultra-fast scanning SEM. I think that would be kind of cool. They're a little different, and you can get um, some different kind of information out of them. Hmm. Uh, and then um, Pacific Plankton knows a guy who built an SEM in their garage. So Not in my garage. Not No, in their own I garage. met them. I met them. So... Uh, I actually would like to, to use a um, confocal. Yeah. We don't have one of those. No. I think the biology department has one upstairs. Mm. I just haven't been. I think Sarah said she would take me up there sometime when nobody was looking, but it still hasn't happened because COVID. Yeah. This but, is kind of uh, cool. I like this picture. So much candy chat. Yeah. You haven't eaten breakfast yet. Uh, just have candy for breakfast. What could go wrong? Well, maybe candies would be cool. Time for some more diatom merch. Oh, well, if I sold those on Etsy? Like amoeba that we put together out of rock candy with the caramel inside? I think that it would take more time than I mean, you could charge. I have plenty of time. All I do is sit around. Really? Uh, just go uh, kick down the door. Yeah. No. I could go kick down one of the labs when no one's picture. around. Uh, they do have a confocal, yeah. Duck, 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 goose says, Pacific Plankton knows Ben Krenj, Krejnow. Krejnow? Is that he joined, guy? he joined the Microscopical Society that I'm a member of, and he's been, we've been chatting. Uh, Digital Seahorse says, candy for breakfast makes me nauseous. It would make me nauseous. I, I don't even like candy during the afternoon. It's not SF Bay. I only eat candy, like... I'm starving or like um, like I can't eat real food and there's candy available I might eat that okay so that was the last picture or do I have time to do more well we just we have to, to order the pizza now oh, okay we don't have to shut down for another 10 minutes is there anything that has to be done in the lab yeah I got to go over there and uh take the samples off the hot plate and cover so it. So we should probably raid somebody. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We should raid somebody. Because it would be good to raid while you're here, since it's your channel. Square Donuts has a pumpkin donut right now. Oh, we haven't even taken it to Square Donuts. Mm -mm. How do you feel about donuts? I, um, maybe I'm picky about donuts. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a lot of, um, because I don't go to a lot of donut places. Well, we have a donut place here where they make the donuts into squares. Nice. Well, square donuts. Kind of like beignets. I don't know what that means. It's just a square donut. No, all the donuts are square. They're like glazed donuts are square. Mm -hmm. They're cream filled donuts are square. And they have square. square holes? I think they have round holes. So they're square donuts with round holes. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they have round holes. Okay. But the donut is square. Well, I haven't been yet. Um, they're like, they're like. Beignets with holes. Beignets with round holes. That's what Del says. Thank you, Del. And then Tropical said, do you guys want to join the Philosophy of Science Discord? I don't know. I, I, so here's the thing. I have very little time to like 
do Discordy things and other stuff. I find like, I, yeah. I just, I, I've got so much that I want to do and so little time to do it. Oh, I have a great idea. Yes. Cosmo Quest X is on and they're doing their podcast talk show thing and they raided me a bunch recently. So oh, I feel nice. like we could go raid them. Okay. And why don't we do that? All right. So before they raid me, we'll raid them. That's that the, sounds like a really like good idea. <gasps> There's Trepos. Raid. No, uh, Serration. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, Dell. Let's see. Cosmo Real quick before we go. Quest. Does yeah. this look familiar to you, Dell? There we go. You just had to get your Cardi B in. He says Serati, I'm sure does. Look at that. Enjoy your circular beignets with a cir with a round hole. Square hole. No, it's uh, the other way around for you, <laughs> Joe. Okay, uh, thanks to both of you. See you next time. I'm so glad I caught your stream today. Yes, we're all very happy to have everybody that came in today. And Super happy. It's been such a fun little stream. It really is. We only have one more day with Pacific no. Plankton, which is tomorrow, before we have to send her back where she came from. Yep. And um, her family would Return be delighted. Return to sender. Because they've been... I think they've been eating each other's fingers or something. No. Uh, let's see. It's a huge long list. We got raided by GeoGym2006, who's still here in the channel, and Morgana. Yay! And their people. We had new followers from Polythemus. We had some guy named V here in the channel. <laughs> we got raided by Science with about hey, hey. a length. Um, Mike Stubbs. We got raided by Yeah Science Twitch. Wow. We had some mustachio points spent. Uh, we got gift tier uh, subs from Sarah uh, Holcomb, four of them. And um, Sarah. we got uh, some more follows, Wanchies. We got gift uh, subs from Lugon Low. We Aww. got raided by Zachap. Um, we have uh, follows from Kitamaro and uh, Saucy. I'm Beast never going to be able to catch Gino up to XFs. you. We got the subscription from uh, Lugon Low. There's all these people here that followed us early on in the stream. Look at wow. all those. We got raided by another person. This was when I was out. This is yeah. Shirazin, Shirazade MR. It's mm -hmm. just like crazy today. Okay, yep. we're going to go. Or we went. We went. We went. <laughs> we raided. Woo! Okay, so we can stop that, I guess. And um, we'll spam them with our thingies. Uh, here, this window. Whoa. That window. Stop stream.